Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Gator Alley, where our one and old Bullock Academy Gators will take on Edmund Burke from Waynesboro, Georgia, in their first game of the season. I'm David Bobian, alongside color commentator John Mulherin and spotter Alan A.C. Crooms. Bullock Academy kicked off the season last week as they beat Pinewood, uh, the Patriots, 42-8 to in the seventh annual Irk Russell Classic at Paulson Stadium. We played a solid game on both sides of the ball, but we made a few mistakes, and we know how to fix them. And uh, the question tonight is, can we execute our plan in front of this large home crowd? Last week, uh, we were without our quarterback, Don Aaron, but junior quarterback Fisher Oglesby did a great job. He was 3-3 three and three in the air and had a 19-yard run for a touchdown. Tom Engel had 22 carries for 179 yards and three TDs. So alongside John Mulherin, we got a little bit of sun right here going down on the 50-yard line, John. And the shadows will be coming soon. But well, need our sunglasses. Well, we, we, we might need sunglasses here for a little bit longer, but uh, really excited uh, to be back here at Gator Alley and uh, getting ready to see uh, two good football teams go at it. Got, um, you know, got two running attacks here. So, uh, you know, the first quarter may be gone before the – Blow the foam off the bear. <laughs> Defense were able to keep Pinewood on their side of the field, and we created two turnovers last week. Our kicking and our putting game uh, was very good. Uh, our German exchange student, John didn't know that we had an international broadcast, but we sure did. <laughs> yeah. Had people from uh, had people from Germany listen to us. It was pretty pretty amazing. Had over 256 views on the on the uh, YouTube. 74 percent was listening in in the United States. 26 was in Germany. So Pretty neat. EBA will have their season opener tonight. Uh, they did have a scrimmage last week and uh, against Augusta Prep. And they won that 20 to nothing, uh, but that was a scrimmage. But it's a senior laden team led by Collier Smith. He's 6'1", 220 pounds, John. Yeah, and they were, they run the triple option here, Dave, and, and he's going to be the, the B-back or the full-back, if you will. And, uh, you know, they've got some pretty decent size on the front uh, front line there. And they're going to run that A gap and B gap with him pretty much all night. I I, uh, I think we're going to see a big heavy dose of him. EBA uh, was six and five last year, made the state playoffs, but lost to Valwood forty nine to seven. They are a well coached, uh, hard nosed team. They control the ball and the clock. Uh, like John said, they're a wing T triple option game. So uh, I was talking to Coach earlier, and we'll go to Coach's corner after our, our break. But uh, he said that you know this could be a a really fast game. Well, you know, both teams are going to want to run the football, and uh, whenever you got two teams that run the football, the, uh, the game clock is going to keep running. And um, what, uh, you know, Coach Russell used to say, you know, when you throw the ball, three things can happen and two of them are bad. That's right. And, uh, and, and you know, this, the, the clock is not going to stop. We're going to have a pretty quick game. And, you know, so this, um, you know, ball security is going to be key to this, this ball game tonight. So we're real close to kickoff. We've got 19 minutes uh, before – we, uh, we take the field. So let's take a two-minute break. Two-minute break. You're listening to the Bullock Academy on the YouTube radio network. Two-minute break. Welcome back to Gator Alley, where our 1-0 Bullock Academy is about to take on Edmund Burke in their first football game. I had a, uh, right before the ball game, I caught up with Coach Collins, and uh, let's go to Coach Collins and see what he has to say this week. This week, we were at, with Coach Collins, uh, talking right before the football game, where Bullock Academy will take on Edmund Burke. Coach, we had a great win last week against Pinewood. 
Can you tell me a little bit about uh, the ball game and what you saw? Uh, and then we'll go and talk about Evan Murray. Well, David, first of all, thank you for uh, being here with us today. Uh, what you're doing is, is certainly adding a lot to Gator Nation, and, and, and um, it is great for kids. Uh, you ask about the Pinewood game. Um, it's always good to beat your rival and uh, to, to do it on the stage that we were on uh, at, at Georgia Southern in the Irk Russell Classic on a Saturday morning. Um, it was very, very rewarding. Uh, we, we looked at the film, and there were some very, very good things offensively, defensively, and with our kicking game and special teams. But there were enough mistakes to choke an elephant. So we, we've got to uh, continue the good and work to correct the things that, that um, you know, can cost you if you don't fix them. So uh, all in all, we're very pleased. I was, I was especially excited that we were able to get all the boys in and, and uh, you know, in the third quarter when the game was no longer in question, uh, we, you know, I think took the high road and put all the boys in, and, and uh, they deserved to play and, and had been in practice themselves too. So uh, it, all, all around it was great. And, uh, you know, Dave, one more thing I want to add is is uh, I thought Gator Nation uh, was really, really strong. I'm not talking about just our team's effort, but, but every aspect from the cheerleaders to the uh, fans in the stands, I thought it was a uh, a sight to behold, to be honest. Yeah, it was it was extremely warm, and uh, when I was looking down from the press box, the amount of people that were there was just, it was amazing. So uh, it was a great experience for everybody in Bullock Academy, and hopefully maybe we'll get to do that again sometime later down the road. But talking about this game on Friday today, uh, Edmund Burke, they come to our house, first home game, starting at 7.30. What do we know about Edmund Burke? And uh, what are you expecting? Well, I, th I expect Edmund Burke to be a very, very physical team. Um, that their their coach takes pride in in his strength program as he as he should, because um, I think that they're uh, very prepared in that area. Um, you know, when I uh, uh, allowed to draw on from from my own personal experience, um, I, I see Edmund Burke much like I saw. A, a group down the road at Southeast Bullock where I was a head coach for several years. I see them very, very similar in that they're very physical along the line of scrimmage. Uh, they're going to try to establish their will, which is, is to run the ball between the tackles. And then once you commit in there to stop the running game internally, uh, I feel like that they'll attack the edges of your defense. So, uh, you know, we've got a stiff challenge to slow up, a, you know, what I consider a great football player and, and Collier Smith, who is their, you know, 220 pound fullback. They're, they're, that's the key to their engine that makes them run from an offensive standpoint. Um, uh, defensively, what I've noticed uh, over the years is, is that teams that, that uh, typically run the ball really, really well defend the run really well because that's what they see in practice and that's how they have to to kind of mold themselves so um you know i expect them to, to play a run very 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 stout um, and and be stout against the run and uh, we're going to have to work hard to open holes for for some very talented running backs that we have uh, but but there's a bunch of ways to go about it offensively and we we're prepared to, to do whatever it takes to move the football. Well, we're looking forward to tonight. And when we come back, we'll have the national anthem and the prayer. And uh, we finish it up with Coach Collins in the coaches' quarter. Good luck tonight, Coach. That was Coach Collins right before the ball game. Um, give us the breakdown of what's going on and what to be expected. So, John, uh, with the keys to the game, what do you uh, what do you think? Well, certainly, uh, I think Coach. Uh, said it pretty well there the uh you know two running teams it's gonna be a short game you're gonna limit your possessions both uh, both squads gonna try to you know exert their will on each other both on the offensive defensive line so this is gonna be a game one in the trenches and uh, with any any game like this where you you know you limit the possessions turnovers are absolutely going to be the key and uh, i think both teams are going to be required to have a key defensive stop at some point during the game and uh, this was probably one of those games, David, that uh, turns out to be a, a special teams kind of game. And uh, you want to make sure that you got solid special teams, to flip the field when you need to flip the field, and uh, and hold on to that ball when they uh, when they punt it to you. So I think uh, you know turnovers, defensive stops, special teams play is going to be uh, pretty much the keys to this game. So our our prayer and our national anthem is about to take place. Thank you for the schools represented here today. 
and the ability to come to you in prayer. We ask that you keep our players, cheerleaders, officials, and fans safe from injury tonight and throughout the season. We ask that both of these teams use the talents that you have given them to play to the best of their ability and with good sportsmanship both on and off the field. At the end of the game, we ask that you provide safe travels for all who are here tonight. We ask all these things in your precious name. Amen. And the national anthem. Uh, Robbie Sapp on the National Anthem you, iTunes. That works out really good, doesn't it, Robbie? <clears throat> I'm going to ask John if he'll read out our starters for the evening for Bullock Academy. Yes, we got the uh, starters for the uh, for Bullock Academy Gators. We had uh, playing at uh, tight end number 43, Nate Rice. We have tackle number 53, Dylan Overturf. We have guard number 55, John Daniel Collins. And then at center, number 68, Chandler Dick. I think Chandler had about six or seven pancake blocks uh, last Easy. last week. Let's hope he, he that, have that uh, again here tonight. At uh, at the left guard, we have number 54, Lines McKinney. And then the left tackle, number 56, is Ben, ben Dasher, 56, rather. Uh, flanker four is Matt Childers. Split in, number two, Will Aaron. Running back, number five, Ty Mingle. Running back, number 28, Rodney Hill. And we have listed as quarterback tonight, number nine, Fisher Oglesby. That's right. So uh, we'll get the captains here for Edmund Burke when they come out. We don't have the lineup for them, uh, but we do have the roster and everything. But uh, Coach was telling me about this uh, Collier uh, Smith, number 10, uh, you know, fullback. He is going to go both ways. He's about 210, 220, depending on uh, what day of the week, so to speak. That's right. But uh, he's going to go both ways. They've got about seven players that are doing Ironman. Yeah, yeah, they've got uh, they got thirty two um, they got thirty two players on their on their roster. They got nine seniors, nine juniors, eight sophomores, and six freshmen. So, you know, they don't have the deepest of rosters. So you you're going to think that these guys are going to play some Ironman football. Thankfully tonight, really for both teams, it's sort of cool. It's like eighty two degrees yeah. or so. It's not that hot. And um, you know, here's here's the big key though, Dave. Uh, Bullock Academy is uh, they've seen a game in anger, right? They, yep. they've, they've played a game in anger. They've had the film, as the coach said, they've had an opportunity to review that, the mistakes, fix those on Monday and Tuesday, and then game plan. Uh, you know, I, I think Bullock Academy would have the advantage uh, slightly just for that reason. And uh, you know, with uh, Edmund Burke coming in here, this being their really first game, they're sort of feeling out what they have, this, that, and the other. But uh, hey, it's 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 high school football. Both teams are going to be excited, and uh, it'll be uh, be fun to watch. The captains for tonight, uh, we do know this for Bullock Academy. Number seven, Don Aaron. Number fifty-five, J.D. Collins. Number one, Brock Sapp, and number forty-three, Nate Rice. And uh, when we get the captains for uh, Edmund Burke, we will read those accordingly. So a couple of notes here for 2018. Congratulations to our Gators for the big victory over Pinewood last week. Uh, we know that, uh, but also next week we'll begin our JV, middle school, and elementary sc schedules. On Tuesday, the middle school Gators will play Trinity of Dublin at home at 6 p.m. Also on Tuesday, the element elementary Gators will travel to Dublin play Trinity at 6 o'clock. The JV will play Pinewood at home at 5.30. Please come out and support all of our Gator football players and cheerleaders. Softball team is off to a strong start this year. Next week, our girls will be in action against Jeff Davis High School on Wednesday. And Pinewood on Thursday, please come out this year and support the girls and Coach Chambers in what should be 
a very exciting season. Our Gator cross country team uh, held their home opener this Tuesday afternoon. Good luck to Coach Dominguez and all of the Gator cross country runners. You know, last week, John, we had the peanut run. We, we did have a peanut. You know that we said we were going to go down to Brooklyn and get some peanuts after the game. We never did quite make it down there. We did, did not we? meet. Did not make it. Uh, season tickets, individual season sport tickets are available for you to purchase. These tickets will gain you admission at reduced rates, so you don't have to stand in those lines out at the front gate. So please call Becky Collins in the athletic office, and she can give you more information. Uh, booster news, uh, please consider joining the Bullock Academy Athletic Booster membership. There's all types, Gold Gators, Fighting Gators, Grand Gators, and Bull Gators. Each one of them have unique features. Come see Will Wren. He will take care of you. Matter of fact, Will will be at halftime. Uh, we will be interviewing. Will's doing a great job with the program. So a couple important dates. Mark, August the 27th down, uh, Parent University be held for parents and guardians so they can come and learn what's uh, expected um, for child for your child academically this school years um, here's our here's our ads John uh, Barbaritos we want to thank Barbaritos for providing the pregame meal for the Gators tonight Gator 8 Nation please stop by Barbaritos and show your appreciation for their school and uh, everything they've done for us of course Optic Orthopedics they do a whale of a job for us um, providing our uh, athletic trainer and uh, also, I have got here in my photos and our officials for the night. John, if I can get that turned around there. Referee Brian Prince. This is the Augusta Association football officials. We thank those guys for coming all the way down from Augusta. They do an outstanding job. Matter of fact, they uh, last year they bought some, some walkie-talkies and just really, I mean, first class, first class what they're doing. But referees Brian Prince, umpires Oscar Williams, linesman Jeff Williams, line judge Saul Lefferty, uh, side judge Dean Morris, field judge Russ Waters, and clock operator Mr. Brandon Collins, who will be up here with us tonight. So uh, we appreciate those, those guys being with us. So we're trying to get the um, captains for Edmund Burke. Our spotter has got his spot glasses on, looking for the captains at Edmund Burke. Yeah, we're looking for him. That's that'd be number 36, which is uh, that's Joey Wall, senior. Thank you. Number 21. We got number 21 is Ryan Duffy, another senior. 14. 14 is Eason Waters, a number, sophomore. And number 10, Collier Smith, senior. So uh, the captains are meeting at. Midfield and John, I'm going to call heads tonight. What you think? You always call heads. I always call God heads. Call heads. And uh, you know, if you win it, you want to defer, obviously, here in the home field. Doesn't the grass look great? I mean, the field looks great, John. The field really does look good. Uh, you know, Mother Nature's been putting a lot of water down here <laughs> on it for us, and uh, it, you know, whoever's cutting the grass is doing a good job because they've had to sharpen their blades about five or six times a month. That's because, right. Uh, it uh, has been growing all over the county, but it really does look good. Good, good looking stadium. Great night for football. Let's get this next four minutes and 24 seconds off the clock, and let's put uh, total leather. I tell you what, John. Uh, a couple years ago, we got the visitor side. Uh, it was a school that was just they wanted to get rid of their stands, and um, boys from Pope Construction went over there and picked them up for us and brought them over here. So the stands uh, on the visitor side. Uh, are really great they're actually sitting in the shade folks uh, you know we're at home uh facing west but it won't be, be too much longer and um yeah, we got some of these good s south georgia pine trees are, are getting in its way right now and uh, those stands on the other side will fill up it looks like they've got half of their crowd out here on the field with the cheerleaders i think i really think the cheerleaders there's probably three quarters as many cheerleaders as our football players from edmund burke and uh, a good looking crowd, and once they get back in the stands, they'll fill it up pretty good. So Edmund Burke wins the toss, and they defer. So it looks like we'll be kicking, uh, let's see here, which way? So we'll be going from your left to your right. And here comes the Bullet Academy Gators through the tunnel. We're in our gold helmets, our green jerseys, our gold pants. Edmund Burke in red helmets. White tops and white pants. Seniors didn't get to run out, John. Look at that. That's right. <laughs> home, home, home opener. They were all out there uh, at the coin toss. We want to thank R.J. Pope 
R.J. Pope Men's and Ladies Apparel downtown in Buckhead Plaza celebrating 45 years in business. They want to thank Bullock, Cat Bullock County for your support. We offer quality clothing, shoes, formal wear, and accessories. Uh, we've guaranteed fit, and our services are free and always free alterations. Because of you, we are able to support our B.A. Gator Athletics. We have new fall arrivals every day, new Georgia Southern, Georgia Apparel. Also visit our spring and summer closeout sale up to 50% off. If you mention this ad uh, to Mark or Wes or Scott or RJ, the, any of those, on their closeout sale, 50% off. Please visit the Cobbler's Bench, also the ladies' store. And, of course, Anderson's General Store, John, great go, supporter. Uh, go get your green egg and your Yeti. Go get your brick, green egg, your Yeti, your Costa sunglasses, Carhartt. Hunting season's right around the corner. Um, you know, tomorrow I'm uh, going over to the farm and I have to go pick up a little bit of uh, corn <laughs> that we're going to be strategically placing. I understand. So, I understand. Uh, stop by Anderson's and uh, they've got all your stuff ready for hunting. I think, I think both season opens what next week? I think so. So we are getting very, very close. Matter of fact, one minute forty-five seconds left. We want to thank everybody that's listening to us on the YouTube radio network. And, uh, hey, what well, if they would uh, if they would sort of type in and sort of let us know who they are? We'll give them a shout out. I just put out a little thing there saying so. Hopefully, people will see that. And uh, we're getting ready for football. Toe meets leather here. The first game at Gator Alley. So number one for Edmund Burke, That's Blake Harrison Jr. will be kicking off. And I bet old Ty Mingle will be back there, don't you think? And number 28, yes, sir. So we got Childers, we got Roddy Hill, and Ty Mingle back deep. Ball's placed on the 40 yard line. They're going to be kicking from your right to your left, folks. It's not on your radio dial, but it's on your YouTube dial. <laughs> we we'll think of everybody that's listening out there to us and at the stadium. If you're not here, this is a beautiful night here at Gator Alley. Come on out. And Dave, perfect timing. The uh, sun is just starting to go down behind those trees. Got perfect angle here. And, and there, we're off. Short kick. Looks like going to Rodney Hill. Going to be felt, uh, Got on the 20-yard line. Comes out this way, and he gets wrapped up. And Carson Woods on the tackle, number 13. All right, good field position here today. Let's see what the offense can do. We've uh, got the ball that's uh, marked here about the 25-yard uh, line or so and got uh, got the big offensive line. Let's see if they can punch some holes. Now, one of the things that uh, Edmund Burke's going to do, they're going to run a 50 defense. It's going to be a little bit different than what we saw last week. We'll see how we can handle it. Don Aaron, the quarterback, comes under center, up under big center Chandler Dick and that veer formation. They've already started shading off to the left, the defense. Mm -hmm. Option to Rodney. He takes it out on the 25, makes one guy miss, runs over another one, gets to the 31-yard line. Good, good six-yard gain there, pretty much all on his own. They had that well defended. Nice little stiff arm, got him an extra two or three yards there at the end of the run. So running back this way, Don pitches. You called it there, Dave. They've, uh, they're shading here to the left-hand side. That's the strength of the uh, Bulk Academy offensive line. Got a lot of size on that right-hand side, and uh, Edmund Burke knows that, and they were shading uh, everybody this way. We Th ran right into the teeth and got six yards. Number 33, Miles Burnett. I'm watching him right at the nose guard. Chandler's probably got him by a good look at him shading over to the left here. Yeah, getting in the gap. So we come up on the line. We hand it off right up the middle to Brock Sapp, and he gets the first down. Jake, Jake Nelson, number Jake 21. Nelson, excuse me. We'll get the numbers here in just a minute. I was trying to give Brock some, some love there. Yeah, pretty interesting right there, Dave. You, you saw Edwin Burke sort of shifted there to the left a little bit. Uh, Don Aaron called an audible right there and ran right up the middle, got the first down. It's going to be interesting to watch number 33. He's probably about 100 pounds less than our center right on the nose, but yeah. he's shaded over. Don Aaron under the center takes a snap, hands right off, and then the options to Jake to the 40, 45, gets wrapped out of bounds. On the 50-yard line, 49-yard uh, line. Good good pick up there, another first down. So the dive straight up to uh, to Ty Mingle, and they committed to it. First down and 10 with 
10 minutes and 53 seconds. No score here early at Gator Alley. We hustle up to the line again. Thomas Childs out. Toss pitch to Jake Nelson. He takes it outside looking for some running room. He's got probably about six or seven and a flag on the field. Yeah, good good little pitch there. They line up and so the triple option set. Then you know it's going to be a pitch over there, sort of trap the uh, trap the end in. Uh, he got the edge, but uh, I think they're going to have a holding call here on uh, Chandler Deck. He had blocked his man about seven <laughs> yards down the field. And, but Forgot they, to turn loose. Yeah, but they did call him for a holding. So that's going to be uh, holding on us, and that will back us up here. Good officiating crew. We've always had good success with these guys from Augusta. They're just, just jam up. Ball will be placed on the 44-yard line of Bullock Academy. And it'll be first down and about 15. Don Aaron with the call coming into the huddle. All right. You got a long first down here. You need to get some uh, good positive yards here on first down. Twins left, single set to the right. Shotgun formation from Don Aaron. Ball snap. He goes back to throw. Throws it to Childress as a flag on the play. He's up to the 45, to the 40, 35, 30, 25, 20. And he gets horse collared out of, out of bounds. There's two flags on the field here. Let's see what happens. Now, I think Should the first one, Dave, over there on the far side is going to be a legal procedure on us. So it's going to come back. I didn't see the second play. It was uh, a little bit behind the, the runner. The ball was all the way down to the 15-yard line of Bullock Academy. There's two flags. Yep. Legal procedure on, on Bullock Academy there. On the, um, Looked like the left flanker. I don't know who that was. Looked like they moved a little bit early on that, that play. That was Matt Childers, number four. So there was two flags, I guess, on the same thing. Thought maybe there might be a – well. Looks like there's a, a, a penalty possibly on Edmund Burke after the play. Let's see. Nope. So it's going to be first down and about 20. Yep. Ball's on the 39-yard line. No score with 10 minutes here in the first quarter. Uh, that sun has just gone down, John. Yeah, that, that was a pretty good little play. That that uh, looks like it's going to be open there for a couple of times. We're going to need that play. If we get in these kinds of situations here, first and 20, things of that nature, we'll, uh, you know, we'll, that, that'll be there, I think, tonight. So Bullock Academy takes the first – uh, takes a timeout here, the very first one. So we'll stay right here. You know, one of the things we go back to the uh, to the keys to the game. Uh, you know, it's a it's a penalty kind of a game. It's turnovers, special teams, defensive stops. You know, you don't want to you don't want to make it any harder on yourself. Uh, you're going to have a limited number of possessions in this kind of a game, and yeah, you've got to score got, every time here. Yeah, so we got to clean up a couple of these uh, these penalties early. Guys are excited. That's going to happen. But uh, got to try to clean that up and see if we can't get um, you know get this thing get this first down and get it on in the end zone. So I'm going to be watching the defensive. Uh, I've always watched the defensive line and uh, what they're trying to do and any stunts. I know they've watched the film on us and they know that they can't man up with our offensive line. So they're going to be doing some stunts and shading over and trying to guess the play. To be honest with you. Um, you know, when that call on Chandler, he blocked the guy 70 yards down the field. Yeah. Shotgun formation, twins right, twins left. Single set back. Ball snap. He's looking to throw. Got wide open time angle and just a little bit overstretched. Boy, I really think Will Aaron was, was the guy to go to on that play. A little bit tough. Uh, a little bit on the outside right there, but uh, we've got second down and 20. See if we can't get uh, get good positive yards here. Maybe get about eight yards here and get more of a manageable third down possession. That's right. Plays being brought in by Will Aaron, brother to brother. <coughs> Childers checks in. For Harrison Kennedy comes out. And Thomas Childs, he comes back out in. <laughs> Shotgun formation, twins right. That defensive line's moving all over the place. Don back to pass. Same play to Childers. And he gets wrapped up. And yeah, he's, they, had that, one they had that one snuffed out. They, they sniffed that one out pretty good. It was just a little screen out to Childers, and he was bringing it back inside against the grain. And good play by Evan Burke. 
Got a loss there of a couple more yards, so it's it's third and 22 or so here, it looks like. Ball's on the 37, 38-yard line. No score here, 9-15 in the first quarter. Twins left, single out to your right. Two running back sets, shotgun. Don's back looking to pass, got plenty of time. He gets hit when he's thrown. And nice job there by Will Aaron to break that up. That yeah. was a little duck that uh, got thrown up in the air when he got hit. Um, good, good example here, guys. You, you don't you got behind the chains here with two penalties, and uh, you know you had two first downs. Got called back in this drive. Keep out of the penalties and um, you know, stay out of the down and distance situations. Nate Wright, Nate Rice back to punt. Mason Boswell back for Edmund Burke. And. I mean, we're, we're a little bit out of the game. We've had a lot of personnel back and forth here, John. Yeah, yep. Got to pay attention. We need a snap. Good snap here and a good kick. We've got a good snap and a good punt by Nate all the way over to the third. And a great roll here, John. Yeah, that uh, that ball landed about the uh, about 30 and got about a little 15, almost a 15-yard roll out. So it looks like uh, Edmund Burke will take over on their own 19-yard line. 18, 19 yard line. Yep. Maybe first down and 10. Got on the far hash. I think we're going to see a big steady dose of number 10. I think Collier Smith's going to be the, the key running back here. You know, certainly we, we know that. Uh, you know, the, the team is probably counting on that. I wouldn't be surprised though, Dave, if you don't see a little counter kind of stuff and try to, you know, fake it up the middle and get us biting early and uh, try to pitch it to the outside. We've got to uh, make, sure we, make sure we play well on the corners. Our uh, defensive line. Uh, Number 53, Brandon Hodges. Let's see what happens here. So they're in this, uh, it's a triple option, but they got a twins to your left here. Let's see what happens. Quarterback under center. Motion this side. Quarterback back to throw. He gets pushed out of the pocket. And we wrap him up right there. Please don't call the horse collar. Great play that by Chris Howell. Chris Howell went in and... Um, Sort of, sort of busted up that play. Looks like Brandon Faircloth is down on the on the grass right now. Number eight. So injury timeout on the field. So that was a loss of about seven on that, John. Yeah, again had a great uh, great play there by um, by the defensive end. Really blew that play up. Pushed it. Went uh, went straight up in the. Uh, into the quarterback and sort of flushed him out and help from the cavalry came around and tackled him for about a seven-yard loss. So as they're tending to Brandon, let's uh, – looks like he's – I hope he's going to be all right. We've got uh, – looks like Dr. Aaron's going to go out there and take a look at him. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't see what happened to him. I was watching the quarterback getting chased around in the backfield. He was – Back here playing, look like about the linebacker position right there in the center of the field. Didn't see what happened. Our softball team is off to a strong start this season. Next week, our girls will be in action against Jeff Davis High School on Wednesday in Pinewood on Thursday. Please come out this year and support the girls and Coach Chambers in what should be a very exciting year. Of course, the uh, JV middle school and elementary schedules football will start up soon. On Tuesday, the middle school Gators will play Trinity at home at 6 p.m. And then uh, also on Tuesday, the elementary Gators will travel to Dublin, play Trinity at 6 p.m. The JV play Pinewood at 5.30. Please come out and support all of our Gator football players and cheerleaders. Let's take a one-minute break while they uh, tend to Mr. Faircloth, and hopefully everything's okay. Let's just take a one-minute break. One-minute break, you're listening to Bullock Academy on the YouTube Sports Network. All right, Brandon ran off the field there. Looked like uh, maybe a little solar plexus. 
somewhere, you expe- around, you, so, somewhere around that, uh, that that general area. I, you I were not expecting the solar plex. Uh, no, no, I think it was a little south of the solar plex. <laughs> and, uh, but I think Brandon's going to be okay. He ran off field, jogged off field. One of those situations where you just sort of need to get your breath back. There you go. Twins right for Edmund Burke. Single setback. Got a slot to his right. Quarterback comes up and hands off 10. an option. And the option stuffed keeps. Him right there and we the stuffed middle. him right there. But we did not have anybody on the pitch, John. I don't know if you saw that or not. The quarterback would have pitched, could have been gone. Pretty interesting. I got fooled right there, Dave. I, th- I thought big number 10, Collier Smith, had that ball. We had wrapped him up and pushed him back about three yards. But um, number 14 actually had the ball and gained uh, gained about five. Third and, third and 12. Third down and 12. No score here with seven minutes and 56 seconds in the first quarter. Gator Alley. Get them off the field right here. Yeah. Third and seven, get them off the field. They come up to the line, that same set. Got, well, they got, brought a slot in. Got uh, got Brock over here on an island. Let's see if they what they do with it. They hand straight off the 10 the straight in the middle, and yeah. he did, we wrap him up. So Number 54 on the tackle, that would be Lyons McKinney. Lyons McKinney and half the uh, half the defense is <laughs> in on that one. That's, uh, that's good game tackling to get after the football. And – well, uh, when they uh, when they kick the ball to us, um, we, right now we've got uh, Tom Ingle standing on about the 40-yard line, the Bull Academy four-yard line. Good, good clean catch here, and we should have good field position. So that's Collier Smith, number 10 punter. So he does it all. Ball snapped to him, put a rush on him, and we nailed it. That's a first down. Yep. So the ball goes all the way to the. 32 yard line and and that's going to be coming back. It'll be first down. Edmund Burke. I'm over here to make it a good one, and he he sort of put a whip, whipping on number 10. You don't want any more of this, but uh, that gives them a first down and again another key penalty here for Bulk Academy in this first quarter. Gosh, he will uh, on film session there. They'll. Uh, He's, They'll he, discuss that one there. Yeah, he's running a little bit on Monday, that's for sure. Well, that's a big uh, that's a big first down for them. They uh, got the ball now on the 34-yard line. Ball's on the 34-yard line for Edmund Burke. No score, six minutes and 52 seconds here in the first quarter. They walk up to the line, and that triple option set. And we got a whistle here from the official timeout. Yeah, what's uh, what we got? Looks like Jake Nelson's coming out. Maybe got must, equipment must issue. Equi- yeah, must be an equipment issue there. And Payson Sullivan comes in. You got to watch here. The, the way they've got it set up, we've got Brock Sapp over here, uh, single. There's really no safety help. He's on an island, so let's see if they try to get the ball to him at some point. Motion give off to number 30. He gets about yeah, five. Good, good, good little gain off the right side. Had good good push from the offensive line. And number 35, Cash Vic, 55. J.D. Collins on the tackle. Still trying to get used to the new broadcasting folks here uh, with spotters and new color guy. So, um, but all in all. Hey, it's high school football. <laughs> It's fun. <laughs> second down and five. All right, need a little stop here. I wouldn't be. This is an opportunity here. Second down and five, pretty manageable. That uh, I'd be, I'd be looking for the pass here. Ball's on the 39-yard line. Jet sweep coming back this way. They reach him out. Good play by Brock Sapp. Yeah, Brock was well blocked on that play, but he sort of fought off the block and uh, made the tackle, but not uh, not in time. They made the first down there. He'll gain about seven yard line, seven yards, and they're um, now sitting at the 40. Six-yard line, 47. Number 14 brings in the play for Edmund Burke, Eason Waters. First down and 10 for Edmund Burke. They walk up to the line. They come up in that triple option set. Quarterback under center. Motion back this way. Toss sweep to number 30. And we come up and we finally wrap him up, but he – Keeps on te- – he's got the first down, John. Yeah, pretty good little run there. Again, they, they, they found something on that right side. They are, uh, they're, they're sort of blowing us off the line of scrimmage over there, and we've lost contained twice now, and this uh, two times they've gotten a first down off of that toss sweep play to the right. That was Trent Harris on the – just toss sweep is all it was. 
Ball's on the 42-yard line of Bullock Academy. First down and 10, no score here. Five minutes and 16 seconds, first quarter. Eben's got a little little step to him right yeah, now. Yeah, I'm just swag. Yeah, I just you know, thinking. Yeah, you can't you can't give them the opportunities. We uh we've given them this ball with penalties. And straight off to that big running back number ten. We fifty five on the tackle. Yeah, five, good, good, good. Jamie yeah. Collins. We had a, have a penalty there. Nate Rice was Nate Rice was being held. They're gonna pull that one back. So that's holding on to Edmund Burke. Yeah, Nate Rice was over there. He was at the point of attack, and uh, the guy just sort of pulled him down from behind and right there in front of the official. Good call. Push him back and, and maybe have a little first and 20 action for these guys for a change. So the ball will be placed on Edmund Burke's 46, 47-yard line. <clears throat> first down and about 20. they got to get to the 32, 33-yard line for a first down. All right, need a, need a good play here on first down. Don't give them a lot of yards here. Let's, let's start playing the down and distance game with these guys. Line court, uh, Quarterback brings line up. Got a single set this way. Motion comes back. A little, little counter, counter action play. There. We got them in the middle. Good good stop, good stop. We tackle them on the 50-yard line. Trying to get, Trying to get the running back there. Boswell on the carry. Faircloth on the tackle. Good to see him back in the game. He caught his breath. The second down and 18 balls on the 50-yard line. Four minutes and two seconds in the first quarter. No score here at Gator Alley. They come up to the line. That option attack. Motion this way. Bootleg back out to number 14. Can we we had nobody out there. Oh, and Brock Sapp makes a tackle on his legs there, John. Yeah, way to go low there. 14, big guy coming around the corner. Way to go low. This is going to be now about a uh, you know, good pickup there, about uh, about 10 yards or so. Looks like it's going to be about third and seven here. Third and six for the first down. Our backside end did not uh, stay at home right there. Yeah, he sort of got sucked in a little bit, and uh, we're in right past him. So that was just a counter it was just a bootleg is all it was yeah. to the quarterback number 14 Eason Waters they come up to the line in a wishbone hand off to number 30 and we wrap him up right there but he's there he's going to be short of the first down short of the first down it's going to be an interesting call here Dave you sort of you know do you try to pin him deep or you go ahead as, as the coach and you try I, I wouldn't be surprised if he doesn't go for this it's fourth and three it's on the 35 yard line his defense has played pretty well We'll see. Big number 68, Chandler Dick, comes in on the offensive, uh, defensive line. Looks like they're going to go for it, John. Yeah, you're pretty much in no man's land there. You, if, you, if you punt it, you, you, know, you, you pick up 10, 15 yards maybe. Um, so Might try to draw us off, off sides. Yeah, you might do that. I think you're going to see another one, a counter to the right or, or the pitch to the right. They've so, had a little success over there. So fourth down, they're stretching everybody out here, seeing what happens. Jet sweep, handoff to number 30. Can we string him out? And he gets the first down. Yeah. And still going. Finally knocked out of bounds. Got a penalty flag down there right at the first down marker. Let's see what that is. That seems like it would be a holding call to me. That's in the holding or the chop block area or the yeah. crack yeah. back area. Yeah, that's that's put a legal block in the back. That will back them up there. Yeah, that's probably going to make them punt it. So let's we'll see where they place the ball. It's ten yard penalty, so that's gonna be, you know, yeah. fourth and twelve, fourth and thirteen. Fourth down and twelve. So that should bring out the punting team. We'll see. Twelve two minutes and twelve seconds left here in the first quarter. No score. Looks like they may be going for it, John. Yeah, quarterback's still in. We're kind of waiting to see what they're going to do, and they're they're going for it. Yeah. Shotgun formation. Twins left. He left early. Going yeah. back to pass. Throws it up. Lobs it up. Can we make a tackle? Oh yes, and we knock it down. Yeah, way to go right there. Will Aaron came over from a safety position, knocked that ball down. Perfect thing to do. Bull Academy's going to get the football on their own 42, 43 yard line. You know, you're back there, and you see that ball coming up, and the smart thing to do is knock it down. What? Uh, 
what Will Aaron did because we get the ball up here. That's right. That's right. That's he a, saved us fifth. That's that, right. That's, a, that's a, exactly. That's a that's an extra first down right there. Book Academy's really got to clean it up here, Dave. We've we've shot ourselves in the foot with some penalties. Uh, need to have a sustained, clean drive here. Let's see if we put some points on the board. So Fisher always be in the in for Don Aaron. Give it straight up to Ty Mingle. He fumbles. He had about four yards. And Edmund Burke gets the turnover. So the first turnover of the evening goes against us. Yeah, that uh, looked like that uh, Oglesby had his feet tied up under him right there. Got uh, tripped up from the center. Went to make the – well, stumbling his wind and made the handoff. Don't know if the mesh was very good. Time maybe not had that ball very secured, and uh, they got the ball. The defense has got to stand up. Ball's on Bullock Academy's 46-yard line. They come up to the line ready to go. Two minutes and two seconds. No score here in the first quarter. Motion this way. Handoff kind of a jet sweep. Yeah. He well, might, might have got two. Yeah, a little, little better defense there, David. We were able to sort of contain the edge, hold the edge a little bit, turn that back inside, and help came and um, stopped him. We appreciate the media out here. Looks like we've got uh, WJ. Is that WJCL? TOC. W we got somebody from the news. Yes, it's in a Savannah news station. <laughs> hey, he, they got a blue shirt on. He's wearing Kyle Widener blue. That's what I know. Kyle, that's, that's <laughs> Kyle Widener's favorite color blue right there. It's a TV station out of Savannah. Second down and eight for Edmund Burke. Wing T option. Hand off to 30 again. A little push there, maybe one or two yards. Good stop there. The whole throat of the defense was in on that stop. And so Trent Harris, the running back, he kind of runs. He's standing straight up, but he's he's very shifty when well, he's, he's running. Got, he seems like little shifty hips, sort of quick hips. Reminds me a lot of how Tracy Ham used to run. Um, you know, Tracy wasn't the fastest, but Tracy sure was twitchy. Yeah. And uh, made a couple guys miss. Third down and six ball on the 41-yard line. 50 seconds. Excuse me, third and five. Sorry. Thank you. No, that's it. We come up to the line with 40 seconds left here in the first quarter. No score. And under center. Hand off to the B-back. No nope. option. He pulls it down and gets the first down and then some. We'll pick up almost eight yards there. He just sort of squirmed his way through that right side. They're finding something on that right side. We, we may have to change something, maybe get some personnel over there or start doing some, some stunts or something, but uh, they found something on the right side, and they've taken advantage of it. First down and 10 for Evan Burke with 26 seconds here in the first quarter. No score. Ball's on the 32-yard line. Yeah, there's something on the right-hand side that might be – Obviously, it might be their strength of their yeah, offensive yeah, line. Yeah, obviously. That's what they're running. They're bigger guys. Thank you, AC. Hand off to the quarterback keeper again. We come up Will Aaron. Big hit. Will Good Aaron. form. Will, Will Aaron with the first slobber knocker of the, uh, of the evening. Came up and really stuck his face in there into the first quarter. And that's the end of the first quarter. Let's take a one-minute break. No score here at Gator Alley. Bullock Academy zero. Edmund Burke zero. Let's take a one-minute break. You listen to Bullock Academy on YouTube Sports Network. Welcome back to Gator Alley. And Will Wren, just look at you, bringing, bringing blue Skittles up here. 
I'll tell you what, now, with the, the booster club president bringing you skitter. Yeah, that's skittles, good stuff. John. Dave, I tell you what, that's uh, that, that's the first quarter that uh, Bulk County wants to uh, – doesn't want to repeat yeah. anytime soon. Five five key plays. We talked about the keys to the game, turnovers, defensive stops, and special teams play. In the first quarter, we had a personal foul that brought the ball back. We had a holding call for a first down brought it back. We had a um, legal procedure on a long first down play. We ran into the punter, and then we had a fumble. And uh, we got to clean that up. That's five really big plays here in the first quarter, and it's kept Edmund Burke in it. They've uh, they've been on the been on the field a lot on offense. Second down and eight. Balls on the 30 yard line. They're going from your left to your right. Second quarter, no score. Cross Little cross buck handoff to number 10, Collier Smith. He's just rumbling down the field, folks. Yeah, rumbling down the field. And number, he got number, the first down. Yeah, got got first down, and thank goodness. Ford Wilds is over there. Ford uh, sort of fought off a man to get to the uh, tackle. If not, I believe he would have been going to the end zone. First down and 10 for Edmund Burke. Ball on the 20-yard line. They got some momentum here, John. 11 minutes and 33 seconds in the second quarter. No score. Yeah, got to really got to tighten up here. They come up to the line, taking all the time they want to. They're trying to milk this clock. Motion that way, toss sweep to number two. He's going to the outside, and what a play by Brock Sal. That's a great play by Brock. Brock, again, got up under his man, went to the outside, tackled him down. Had a uh, He really stretched that play out, and uh, no game, maybe a loss of two. Mason Boswell on the carry, number two. Yeah, he just came right through there and, and just, you know, Hey, tackled him, le- tackled the legs. Uh, yeah, and, and, and they, they sort of had numbers over there, so it was a great uh, great play there by Brock. Second down at about 12, balls on the 22, 22 23-yard line. And Mr. Marty's climbing out on the roof here. I hope he's okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I saw Mr. Marty out on the roof. Don't fall, Marty. We can't get you. Tall, well, come rolling back to this way, wide, wide, wide open. open. Oh, Can we yeah, make a play? He Great throws. play by Ford Wiles. Interception, Bullock Academy. Ford went up and got it. I tell you, Dave, we were a little fortunate there. Great play by Ford, but uh, but we were a little fortunate. If he'd have thrown that ball a little earlier, he was sort of wide open. But uh, Ford really came over and sort of came up on the play at the left end, jumped up, made the interception. Great play, and we will take over right there on our five-yard line. First down and ten. Well, we needed that play right there. Don Aaron's back in the ball game. Twins right. The long. Well, I I take a I take a quick quick score right here. Right. Ball handed off to Rodney Hill. Tiptoes up there, gets about two or three. Hole closed pretty quick on him right there. They uh, they, they opened up a quick hole, but uh, they, they closed it. Gain of, uh, gain of only two. Harrison Kennedy brings in the play. They got a little size up there. Uh, number 40, uh, Dallin Daly is, uh, is a freshman, but uh, he's got a little size to him. Don Aaron under center. Surveying the situation. Looks like he's checking off, John. Yep, multiple here. Hands off to Rodney Hill. He gets wrapped up right there. Just nothing on that play. Yeah, nothing on that play. Uh, I think he sort of missed He missed the hole. Uh, Chandler Dick had pancaked his player, got him on the ground pretty quick, and um, that, that play was designed to go sort of off, uh, off guard, almost to the tackle hole, and uh, he had needed to cut that one back inside. Third, third down and eight. Got to get the first down here. Ball's on the eight-yard line for Bullock Academy. No score with eight minutes and 58 seconds here in the second quarter. I'd roll it out here, and I'd let Don do something with his legs and uh, have a little, little run pass option. Twins right. And we got a timeout, timeout. from Edmund Burke. We'll stay right here. I want to... Call out the 2018 football cheerleaders, seniors Tori Bishop, Morgan Childs, Mary Claire Duggan, Brandon Howard, Samantha Joyner, Lizzie Culver, Anna Massey, Victoria Maxwell, 
Betty Bird Newton, Laura Walton, juniors Emmy David, Kate Fortune, Audrey Hodges, and Anne Marie Merrill. Sophomores Lauren Lanier and Isabella Toms. And freshmen Avery Bobian, Katie Cowart, Beverly Hopkins, Lauren McKinney, and Tressa Roundtree. Appreciate those young ladies. They do, uh, do a great job. They work hard all year long, not only football, basketball. They had a lot, they had a lot to the game. Competition cheerleading. <laughs> I, I, I got it covered, brother. <laughs> yeah. Spoken like a dad who's had two girls that have been cheerleaders. I want to thank R.J. Pope, traditional men's and ladies apparel downtown in Buckhead Plaza, celebrating over 45 years in business. Thank you, Bullock County, for your support. Offer quality clothing, shoes, formal wear, and accessories. John, I was uh, I mentioned that last week that I had to go get some glasses yeah. and walk next door and Hey, they some got clip them. ons. Got some clip ons. So. I, 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 I see you don't have them tonight, I, so you're struggling I'm a little struggling bit there with that writing. Bit. But uh, but come see Ronnie and Wes and Mark and Scott at R.J. Pope. Don't forget about Cobbler's Bench. Shotgun formation, third down and about eight. Balls on the nine yard line. Don's back to pass, surveying the situation out. He tucks it and runs. Makes one guy, and they wrap him up right there. He's going to be probably about two or three yards. Two short. yards short. Yeah, got to got to pump that ball out of there. Really good coverage downfield. That's a uh, that's a coverage sack there, and he had to sort of come up in the pocket and try to make it on his own and didn't quite make it. So with Don scrambling like that, he's fighting an injury right now, so we need to be careful, um, especially when he has to pull it down and take off running. Yeah. So Nate Rice back in his end zone, waiting on the snap. We need a good snap here. And, a, and it's a fake punt to number 19. Holds it down. He runs over one guy. And the ball comes out. They said he was down. He they, was not down. I was not down, but we, we covered it. Number 50 covered that ball. Good, good. How about Jake Waz in number 19? Yeah. And uh, Riley, um, Riley Joyce there picked that ball up there at the end. He actually gained uh, you know another five yards or so. Pretty gutsy call there from Ooh. your own 10-yard line there, Ooh. Coach. 30, it's on the 30-yard line, first down and 10 with 7 minutes and 54 seconds in the second quarter. No score. We hustle up to the line. Don Aaron back at quarterback. Veer formation. Ball. Don option off to Rodney. Looking for some runner room. Gosh, just got tackled right there. Yeah, I tell you what. Edmund Burke's playing pretty good defense today. Again, they see it every day at practice. They uh, they 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 run against the triple option. They're a good defensive unit, and um, but boy, they always seem to be right there at the ball. Second down and nine. He pulled that down and optioned off to the right. But yeah, well, you're exactly right. When you're an offensive, t- when you're an option team, defense always they always because that's what they defend against. Correct every day. I think we're going to need to sort of loosen this up, maybe have some screen plays or try to get it down the field a little bit through the air. So making some changes here, Don's. So now we're, we're to- totally, we brought two men over to your left, toss sweep to Ty Mingles, looking for some running room. We got strung out and just got maybe three or four on that. But. Yeah, I tell you, we, we had the entire offensive team there on the left-hand side, and we still couldn't quite get enough push to, to get any more yards than that. That's a that's a gain of maybe two and a half, three yards there, David. It's a big third down and six here. Six minutes and 29 seconds here in the second quarter. No score. Third down and five. Balls on the 35-yard line of Bullock Academy. <laughs> five and a half. We come up on the line, Don Aaron under center, and we got, got him to jump. jump. Well, nice hard count there. Going to be third and uh, third and one. So we got a got a quick count there. Well, a long count. Yeah, it was pretty hard. <laughs> they gonna give us the first down? <laughs> I tell you that. Uh, <laughs> Ball's on the forty yard line. That's a that's a six yard mark off right there. I like that. Who's on? Can we get a spot on the? Who's the chain guys over there? <laughs> Dewey Newton and uh, John Dasher. Hand off to Ty Mingle. 
you know, he's just they're just standing him up, Coach. Yeah, there's there's more of them than us, and uh, that's typically not a very good recipe for success. They're they're getting off blocks or shedding blocks, and we're getting one and two yards a uh, carry. So they're shifting. What the defense? They're in a fifty front, but they're shifting off and they're shifting to one side or the other. Yep. And we're just running into it. Maybe a quick screen or something here to loosen this uh, yeah, I think, line. Yeah, I think you got to sort of get it outside quick. Twins right. Don Aaron comes on the line. Quick throw to his. Who was that? Great catch. Ford Wiles on the catch. Got the first down and then some. Tell you what, great concentration there. He, he thread that needle, and uh, he was getting ready to get popped, and he held onto that football and uh, went to the ground. That's a great, great play right there. We needed that first down. Don took it and looked like he was going to option to his right, stood up and threw a strike to Ford Wiles for the first down. New quarterback in. Fisher Oglesby's coming in. I think we're going to see this all night long here, Yeah, John. No score here with four minutes and 33 seconds. Option coming back to your right. Tosses it to Ty Mingle. He gets about four, maybe five on the carry. Yeah, good. Uh, good. He, he held that ball as long as he could. Late pitch and uh, got it out there and probably gave us an extra three yards by, uh, by holding on to that ball the way he did. So the ball will be placed on Bullock Academy's 38-yard line. Nice little drive right here. Got to keep sustaining. We come up to the line, hustle up to the line. Twi twins left. Surveying the situation, Fisher, Fisher Oglesby hands it off to Rodney Hill. Nothing. Nothing. And thank goodness for the whistle. They were blowing that whistle. He was still standing up. They blew that whistle. The ball came out, but they had already blew the whistle. Probably a loss of uh, two there, and uh, we're going to have a third down and six yards, third down and seven yards. Three minutes and 27 seconds. No score here at Gator Alley. Don Aaron coming in. Nate Rice coming out. Don looks lo he looks okay. Yeah, he does. He's Yeah, he's uh, jogging in, on and off the field there. So Shotgun formation for Bullock Academy. Twins left. Two running back set. Pass play. Don surveys. Throws it to his brother. Number two, Will Aaron. He gets all the way to about the 25-yard lines wrapped up. First down. First first down. Good uh, good throw and catch. Nothing nothing different in the backyard right there. And uh, Will's got to get that ball down. That ball sort of flared up a little bit. Need to tuck that elbow down. That ball could have come out. But, uh, hey, great, uh, great pitch and catch right there. First down. We got the ball on the 25-yard line. We're trying to do something here. First down and 10 for Bullock Academy. Got a bunch of people coming in and off the field here. Nate Rice checks in. Rodney, Ty in the backfield. Oglesby's back in at quarterback. Betting the option right here, John. Ooh, he moved. He moved. Hand off to Ty Mingle, and he gets nothing right there. Yeah, right there, man. Loss of, loss of one or two. We had a flinch on uh, one of the running backs, but we got a got a good call, good no call right there. Yeah, yeah. Tell you what, they sort of manhandled us right there up the middle. I'm gonna pay attention to our right guard here and see what's happening because it's almost like they almost like we didn't even block the offensive defensive line right there, John. Yeah, that's that uh, that's that freshman they've got over there. He's uh he's he's sort of short, but he's um look at look at the defense shifting back and forth. Yeah. Well, what they're playing is strong side, weak side. Second down to 10, Don back to pass, throws out to number three, Thomas Childs. He catches the ball and gets probably six or seven on that. Yeah, it's going to be uh, be third down and three, third down to four maybe. Good See catch. They by, spot it. Yeah, good catch by Thomas. Yeah, you're right. What uh, You're seeing their defensive line, what they're doing is when we have an unbalanced side, we, we'll have three guys on one side of the center, two guys on the other side of the center. So they're, start, they're rotating based on the uh, – Based on our offensive lineup. They're finding the strong side, strong right, strong left, and yeah. they're shifting. Yep. Yeah. They huddle up in the middle. Look at them. They're just shifting. They shift into one side. And we bring the strong side to the opposite side. That's smart because they shifted. 
Got motion going back to your right. Don reverses back out, looking to throw. Got his brother wide open. He makes a catch. Listen, that's a great, that's a little touch pass right there if you've ever seen it. He had to throw it over the defender. Great little play right there. Little, little, little fake in the middle. Came back, rolled out to the left. Running to his left and a touch pass. That's pretty athletic right there, David. First down and 10. Ball on the 10 yard line. We got 48 seconds here. We need to stick it in for halftime. No score. Here Boy, in Gator been a, Alley. Been a fast, fast first half of football. Don is Don Aaron is in. We hustle up to the line. Twins right. Got a slot position with Rodney. Toss sweep to Ty. He's looking for some running room. He's got a cutback. Yeah. Gets all the way to the, about the four yard line. That's down there, about the about the two and a half right there, three yard line. That was good. We finally had some um, we had some numbers on that side, opened up a hole. We got to run quick, guys. Come yeah. on, let's go. Thirty three seconds, thirty one seconds. We got two timeouts left. We're running people in and out. And we just took a timeout. Thank goodness. Twenty nine seconds. We just lost about almost twenty seconds there. Yeah. Ah, that's all right. That's we, okay. We got it. Second second down and three on the three. We got one second more. goal on the three. We got one more timeout after this one. I'd like to see that play again there, John. He did. He just kind of just strung it out and then cut back to his left across the grain. Uh, that was about his best run for the evening right now. Yeah, but I don't think he's got many yards thus far. We'll check with Robbie here and see if he's uh, how many yards he's had. Edmund Burke's been pretty stingy on defense. Again, they've uh, they've they've covered us up pretty well. Fifteen yards for Ty Mingle right now. So ball's on the three yard line with 29 seconds. No score here. Has been an extremely fast first quarter and second quarter. But Bullock Academy's just about had the ball this whole quarter here which is good for the home team. All right, Dave, what do you do here? you got 29 seconds. you got it second and three. I think you're going to see a little action right up the middle, then a quick timeout, or you're going to let Don Aaron get out on the corner. I think he's going to throw back. I think he's going to circle back around and dump off. I don't know. Let's see what Coach Collins is calling up and Coach Schaefer. Don's back to throw right to Rodney Hill, and he drops it, had it in his hands and dropped it with 23 seconds left. Good reverse out by Don. Yeah, good good, good play there. Right ahead that ball, should have brought that in, hit him right in the uh, most, uh, you know, the spot that you're not supposed to hit him, right in the hands. <laughs> Jake Nelson coming in for Rodney. Twenty three seconds left here for halftime. Third down. I think you're gonna run this one right at the middle. Hand off to Don Aaron with a keeper touchdown. Yeah, good good fake there to Jake Nelson up the middle. Don just sort of got out on the side and, and with nineteen point seven seconds we had a three yard run by Don Aaron and your score. Bullock Academy six. Edmund Burke zero. And we'll wait to see if Jonas or Olin's going to be kicking here. That'll be Olin Anderson. He's going to be kicking. We need a good snap. We need a good hold and a good kick for this very important point after attempt. <laughs> good snap, good hold, good kick, and it's good. We were waiting for the official call. I thought it was good. <laughs> <laughs> Our spotter had a hard time with 19.7 seconds left before halftime. Bullock Academy 7, Edmund Burke 0. Tell you, great answer there, great drive. But, um, We're going to have to turn the lights on in here. <laughs> but, yeah, you're right. That's uh, We needed that score and uh, came on down. and you know, had, had some had some really good third down plays there, David. Had, they had us in down, down in distance a couple of times. and. We were able to pick him up. Don uh, Don had a couple of great passes, uh, great catch there, one by uh, 
by Ford Wiles that uh, really, really yeah. sort of set the tone of that one. There we go. Lights come out. <laughs> Lights come on in the press box. <laughs> so we can see our uh, public address announcer was having a hard time reading his reading his information over there. So Jonas Creekhouse, our German exchange student. Be kicking. I mean, I tell you what. Last week, well, his parents, you know, international broadcast. His parents <laughs> are watching us. For, you're listening to us from Germany. Now we have some listeners here. I don't know if they're on on uh, right now or not. Let's see. It's uh, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two. It's probably two o'clock or three o'clock in Germany right now. Creek House back on his 35. Childress with the signal. Big kick by Creek House. All the way back right to the end line. zone. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Kick, touchback. Good kick there. I don't know if Jonas is going to be playing soccer this year, but but we need to be keeping him on the football field, that's for sure. Yeah, nice uh, nice kick. Good low sort of almost kicked it over the guy's head and took him back into the end zone. That's uh, that's a that's a great weapon for us right there. 19.7 seconds before halftime. We'll have Will Wren, president of the Booster Club here for Bullock Academy. He will be here at halftime to tell us what's going on with the Booster Club. So stick with us for halftime. It looks like they're going to be just taking a knee pretty much going yeah. to the – and that's what they do. He took a long time to take a knee, but yeah, we kind of gave it to him. That's right. Eight seconds, seven seconds left here. And your score at halftime, Bullock Academy 7, Edmund Burke 0. When we come back, we'll have Will Wren. We'll interview him. So we're going to take probably about a two-minute break. A two-minute break. You're listening to the Bullock Academy Radio Network on YouTube. Two-minute break. Welcome back to Bullock Academy football here at Gator Alley, where your score, Bullock Academy 7, Edmund Burke 0. And on the scoring summary, <clears throat> with 19.7, it's pretty easy to read that, 19.7 seconds, Bullock Academy scored on a Don Aaron keeper, three yards and PAT by Olin Anderson was good. And that's your score with 12 minutes and 30 seconds left before halftime, and I'm joined right now by my good fraternity brother, Will Wren, who is the president of the Boosters Club. You 
Got your president pin on for Bullock Academy, is that right? I guess that's what you call it, David. <laughs> yes. Well, we want to thank you so much for everything that you have done uh, for uh, the Booster Club and uh, going out and raising funds. And tell us a little bit about what we're doing and how we're doing. And uh, talk to us. Yes, oh yeah. The uh, the campaign's still in full swing. We've had a good, fast start to it. Um, had a lot of money collected, which is great, and still a lot of pledges out there. Um, so that's been a, a real positive thing. We've got a lot of projects that we're working on here at the Bullock Academy. Um, last year was a big, we took on some, some very big projects uh, with the baseball field renovation and also the field house. Right. This year we're going to kind of do, do a lot of little smaller things. We're working on buying a, a big um, commercial washer and dryer so that all of our sports could use it and um, help take care of our uniforms a little bit better. and really take pride in what we uh what we have so so coach collins was telling me about the washer and dryer and i said coach how much is a washer and dryer a commercial washer and a dryer and when he told me that i was just like oh my goodness yes i, I, was, I was shocked myself um <laughs> you know <laughs> go raise a, more money yes Will. that's right that's right but uh but that's something that we need here i mean most most programs have a commercial washer and dryer and you know for us to be the the premier school and in Bullock County, then we've got to make sure we keep our standards above everyone else's and, and keep pushing for the uh, for the stars. Well, I tell you what, when I played football, I mean, we would bring our our jerseys and our practice pants home maybe once a month and uh, hang them up in the locker room and, you know, staff infection right. and all That's... that stuff that was, you know, we didn't think about. <laughs> yeah, nobody did. Nobody did, but. You know, just with the health of you know being able to have clean laundry. I mean, you 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 think, you think you know you don't you don't think about that's that. That's right. That's right. And uh, the father of a, a ninth grader who can't keep up with anything. It's also <laughs> nice to have it all here at the school and let the uh, the coaches wash it and it be in their locker waiting for them to uh, to practice the next day. So, uh, tell me about the different levels. Uh, I know we've got bull gators and I, I call them off all the time. Oh, yeah. and everything, but. If somebody's listening tonight and they want to be able to help out, where where's the biggest? If I'm going to donate some money, where's where do we need it, and what is the best bang for the buck? Well, hey, um, of course the Bull Gators are our our largest donors, and that is three thousand and above. Um, some of that is is cash, and a lot of it is in kind gifts, which is um, something that we rely on very heavily here at Bullock Academy. So we appreciate all of that, um, and those are you know our our donors that have really, really committed their time and resources to the to the school. The uh, the next level is our Grand Gator, and that's uh, a thousand and above. And those guys are are ones that uh, it's a lot of families, a lot of you know individuals that really just want to be a, a part of Bullock Academy. Um, and that comes with uh, booster passes, right. the two booster passes that'll get you in to every sport and event here at Bullock Academy, and except you, except if, region and state playoffs. But if you think about it, a husband or wife. At the thousand dollar level, uh, if they've got, you know, in case of my point, you got a cheerleader. You're here. You got every get, husband yeah, and wife, right. and then you got basketball. That's so right. that it pays for itself. It, it does pay for itself, um, and it's it's a good way for us to go ahead and, and know what type of funds we're going to have for the year. We we really coordinate very well with the uh, with the athletic department. We're we're really all one. Um, the new athletic director Pat Collins has done a good job of of reaching out and trying to touch every every sport that we um, have here at Bullock Academy. And that's what sets us apart. You know, we want we want our students to, to feel a part of it. We we have a place for every student at Bullock Academy. That's what makes this this beautiful. I mean from a shotgun team to um, the football team right. to, to girls middle school softball. Well what I'm impressed about what y'all are doing with the with the booster you know Let's face it, you know, a majority of the gate and majority of the funds in the athletic come from the football because there's more people here coming through the turnstiles. Right. And, I mean, let's just face that. Yeah. But also basketball, uh, but those funds are going to the shotgun team. They're going yes. to the cheerleaders. They're going to softball. That's right. You just, baseball, track, track and field. Track and field. Robotics. So we really try to try to spread it out as, as, as best we can. Um, and like I said, this allows you know for, for every student here at Bullock Academy to feel a part of the family and to be able to participate in something. So we also have the Cornerstone campaign going on. and We announced last week uh, $4 million of the $5.4 million have already been raised. And the silent that was the silent part of it. Now it's the public part. 
And some people are confused, you know, do I give to the Cornerstone campaign? Do I give to the Bullock Academy Booster Club? They are a little bit separate. They but, are, but, but we all work together. They all I work mean, together. You know, the, we're very fortunate to have Mr. Frank Hook that has, has come on and, you know, helping with the Cornerstone campaign. And, you know, he and I have, just like you, David, we've known each other for, for years. So right. um, we all work hand in hand with each other. It's not... There's no competing agendas, and that's one thing that we've got to make sure we do here at, here at Bullock Academy is, is to not have that so we can keep that family atmosphere. There's some exciting things coming down the, coming down the pike that, um, that's going to help not only academics but also athletics. If you look at the master plan of what we're trying to do here, it's amazing. The drawings are out there. You can go and look. Uh, Statesboro Herald did a nice, nice piece on us. I was also watching, I think it was WTOC. Uh, they had a, they had something on the on the news, so good media presence about it. Uh, we encourage everybody if they're itch, if you're interested in getting involved, pick up the phone and call Will. That's right. That's, That's all right. you got to do, and we can plug you in. Um, a, a lot of exciting things that are going on here, and just I want to thank you so much for everything that you do. I mean, when you're the president of the Booster Club, you do everything. You do. Yes, and I was you helping, or, with, helping with the concession stand right before I ran up here. Yeah, and, you know, uh, he, Will comes up here to the press box and says, what do you need? And my buddy, my other fraternity brother, Cliff Wiles, always wants brown M&Ms. I want blue Skittles. And, you know, you say that kind of jovial, but next thing you know, you got brown M&Ms and you got blue Skittles and everything. So, Well, I know y'all are highly paid professionals, <laughs> but I try to keep you as happy as I can. Everything. There's a lot of being voluntold up here. That's, that's right, and that's just part of being the – part of the BA family we all have to have to chip in and do our part and that's what makes this place great that's it well I want to thank you so much for everything you do and uh, folks I encourage you to get involved with the booster club if you're not I encourage you to give at that thousand dollar level because if you got you know husband and wife you got a kid out here that's going to be going to different multiple things you get in for free that's right you that's, that's get a card and, and uh, yes. it's just a wonderful thing that's so. right and David thank you for all you do with this, oh, this, man. this broadcast this is something that allows our Gator family that, that can't be here to uh, to enjoy the game. And it's totally free. That's right. That's totally right. Totally free. That's right. Four minutes and 56 seconds left here at halftime. Your score, Bullock Academy 7, Edmund Burke 0. We're going to take another two-minute break, and uh, we want to thank Mr. Will Wren. Uh, and Will also has a day job with State Farm, and uh, so if you need anything with State Farm, call, call Will Wren. Two-minute break here. Listen to Bullock Academy Radio Network on YouTube. We're back here, folks, on your YouTube radio broadcast. Bullock Academy leading seven to nothing with two minutes and fifty seconds left. Seven to nothing over Edmund Burke. Uh, some local scores here, John. Uh, Southeast Bullock, fourteen to seven in the second quarter right now. Yep, and then you also got Statesboro over Greenbrier, seven to nothing at halftime. So we're going to get some other scores here. Our public. Screven County just scored, so it's 14-all now. 
So we'll uh, we'll be getting scores tonight, and uh, we'll relay them back to you as the internet is up and running. Dave, if we go back to the uh, the keys of the game we talked about earlier: turnovers, defensive stops, and special teams play. I think you can say uh, quite uh, easily that Edmund Burke has won all three of those. We've had uh, one turnover, but we also ran into their into their punter, which is basically a, another turnover. So. Two, two turnovers there. Defensive stops, they've certainly stopped us. The last drive we had was, was pretty good. And then special teams play again, the, um, you know, the, the, the run into the kicker that gave them a set of downs. So, you know, they've, uh, they've sort of won the, uh, the keys for the game thus far. We only had one score uh, with 19.7 seconds left. Uh, Bullock Academy had Don Aaron on a keeper around the left-hand side for three yards. Kick was good, and it is a 7 to nothing ball game. As we sit out there and look right now, Dave, you see their kicker is uh, kicking 40 yarders. In a game like this, that's um, you know that's a pretty good weapon when uh, when you got somebody that can kick it, and he's got the leg to do it. Yeah. Another quick score here: Portal 21, Trutland zero. Good for, good for Portal. Good for Portal. Yeah, but a 40-yard field goal. Yeah. Is could be a huge thing here. I mean, I was thinking we we're going to come into this game and, you know, it's, it's a matter of turnovers and, you, you know, you have you create two turnovers and you score every down. And, of course, you you got the game won. But, um, you know, we've just been a little sloppy here in our first game here at Gator Alley. 40-yard field goal, he is trying and – He's, he's got the leg. He has got the leg. So one of the one of the uh, interesting things there, you they, they have a coach sort of snapping the ball back to the holder and the kicker, and the uh, the holder just sort of you know grabbed it and took off sort of running. So they're they're practicing the so even the fake right here before the uh, end of the half. So we've got uh, right at 21 seconds. Bull Academy's coming on the field to start stretching. So we're going to take a one minute break here. One minute break. You're listening to Bullock Academy Radio Network on YouTube. One minute break. Welcome back to Bullock Academy, Gator Alley. Your score at halftime, seven to nothing. A couple other scores here: Claxton seventeen, Bryan County zero. People have asked, <clears throat> asked me, you know, why are you playing those uh, the the music there that really doesn't have any rhyme or reason? You never heard it before. And I, well, the reason why is if if you play a song on YouTube that's been sold, kind of like Thunderstruck or something like that. Or if they hear it, uh, they kick you off YouTube. Yes, there's a royalty thing there. There's a royalty thing. We fa- we ha- found that out the hard way the very first game uh, that we did last year. We were had the microphone out, and we were listening to Thunderstruck and all kinds of good stuff. And uh, YouTube will kick you off. They will. It's called a violation of, uh, of royalty. So... FCC rules, that's right. Well, it's not FCC, but it's. I don't think we're paying a royalty to uh, ACDC. Well, listen, I, I, I like that. <laughs> I've, I've become accustomed to it. And the other reason we play that, folks, is, is really there's no timeouts here at the booth. And I'm sure you can hear some of us in the background talking over the music. Last week, uh, I got a text from my wife. She says, y'all need to be quiet when the music's playing. You can still hear everything know, you're saying. I know. These, see, these uh, headphones that we've got, they're extra sensitive uh, microphones. Yes. And they pick up a lot of things. Yes, so. very good. We're, we're, we're in high cotton over here with this technology. Yep. You can buy a lot of stuff from Amazon nowadays. <laughs> so we're taking our stretches right now. we got 30 seconds left before the buzzer rings and 7 to nothing. Bullet Academy leading. 
Edmund Edmund Burke deferred the uh, deferred the first half. And uh, they're going to get the ball here, start of the second half. So Creek House will be kicking off to Edmund Burke. And, uh, you know, we got a secret weapon there with Creek House, I tell you. Uh, anytime they start off on the 20-yard line or the 10-yard line, or that's always a good thing. Yeah, that's a great advantage. The uh, going to be very, very interesting here to see what uh, – you know, how the teams come out and respond after halftime. I'm, I'm pretty sure that the uh, Bulk Academy team got a very stern talking to there at halftime and uh, see if they can't tighten things up a little bit. Um, they were getting uh, we were getting pushed around a little bit on that uh, on that left-hand side of the defense, and let's see if we can tighten that up and play a little bit better defense this second half. We're going to need to. So the game started at 7.30, and I'm telling you this, it's 8.38 right now, so that was a one-hour first half and halftime. Including halftime, that's right. You'll have the um, a similar second half here, I'm, I'm thinking. And as uh, long as we can uh, get the ball, control it ourselves, and get down and score some more points, this isn't going to be a, a runaway game. This is going to be, a, you know, a probably a, a 17 to 7, 17 to 14 kind of a game the way it's planned this far. So, uh, got to hold on to the football, score when you can and uh, play good defense. Quick house back. He's got the ball on the right hash mark on the 40-yard line. We'll be kicking from your left to your right. 7 to nothing. Bullock Academy leading. Got a late score there for halftime. Big kick by Creek House again. All the way back. Bounced and caught it at the 2-yard line. He's at the 15 and the 10. We wrap him up right there. Big tackle right there. Got the uh, Tyler Willoughby, 42, excuse me. Look like 12. Malone Kaysen on the tackle. And Brock Sapp in on that big one. Nice little stick. Got that ball out there about the uh, about 21-yard line. Let's see what the defense can do. First down and 10 for Edmund Burke. And they're in the huddle getting instructions from the head coach, Aaron Phillips. And their assistant coaches, Rick Hopper, Hunter McBride, and Evan Butcher, they walk up to the line in that triple option set. Motion coming back this way. Toss fake, back to throw. Big pass all the way down to number 34. And yeah. we're going to have a yeah, pass little, interference, looks like. Yeah, had two guys, well defended, well defended, but had a little hand action. They're over there playing. Ball, uh, ball sort of over his head, but uh, had t too much hands there. Pass, in, pass intended to Miles Burnett, but uh, Will Aaron and Ford Wilds. There's also a flag in the backfield. Thank you, Alan. Might be a negating foul here. One on the defense. Block in the back, and we had a pass interference, so those will offset. Hopefully. So, yeah, rough, roughing the passer. Roughing the passer on us and pass interference. Yeah. Thankfully, he can only pick, a, pick one of those, but both of them are 15 yarders, so they're going to have the ball out on the 36 uh, yard line. First down and 10 for Edmund Burke. Boy, you got to be smarter than that. We, yeah, we're. Uh, as it was set up here, making them look great. Hand off to number 10. Gets about six on that. Yeah, nice little push up the middle. Chandler Dick on the carry, I mean, on the tackle. That'd be Refrigerator Perry-esque. <laughs> Collier Smith on the handoff. Second down and about four ball on the 41-yard line for Edmund Burke. We're shifting players left and right. Option, pulled it out, get, throws out to number 30. Big lick by good, good stick over there. Trent Harris on the carry. 18. Jake Wasden on the tackle. Jake Watson put it right there on the ear hole. That's old Chuck Perry ear hole right there. He uh, he stuck it right there and good little lick and maybe a gain of one. Got a big third down here, third and four. Third down and four for Edmund Burke. 
We need to bow up here and hold them here. They come up to the line in that option formation again. Twins right. Motion coming this way. A little cross buck to Collier Smith, and he gets the first down and then some. He's all the way up to the 40-yard line, 36-yard 30, line. Woo. Yeah, they're running behind that strong right-hand side of theirs and uh, got a good good hole there, and he just sort of rambled on down about, uh, about 20 yards. Flat holding on them. Bring that one back. We never, I never saw the flag. No, I never. It, it's, it's, it, yeah, it's, it's down here on the 45 yard line. So it was really behind the play. He had, got, had the first yard by at least, first down by at least seven yards, and uh, somebody must have held on somebody's shirt. So we might want to tell the Augusta Association to wash them flags because <laughs> yeah, they're on the ground a lot. <laughs> couldn't, couldn't quite see that one. Be a third down and two. I, I think, David, they've been on the ground so much they've got grass stains are <laughs> starting to blend in. Oh, me. I think, I think you're going to see a big, heavy dose of what you just saw right there. They're going to give it big number 10, third and, third and two. Edmund Burke hustles up to the line, third down and one. Ball's on the 44-yard line of Edmund Burke. little toss sweep. <clears throat> Had one guy miss, two guys miss. He's off to the races, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20. 10, touchdown with a 46, 56-yard touchdown run by number two, Mason Boswell. Just a little toss sweep to him. Yeah. Not much to it. We, 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 we bunched everything up there in the middle thinking we're going, they're going to run at big number 10. They sort of tossed it out to the left-hand side. We got turned on the inside. They they. Boy, they just had had it well blocked, and he was off to the races. Nine minutes and 40 seconds left here in the third quarter, and your score, Bull Academy 7, Edmund Burke 6. They just burned a timeout because they couldn't get the right people on the field. That could be a costly timeout for Edmund Burke. And it was just a point after attempt, and they didn't have the right people on the field. Had to burn one. Ah, that's the first game of the year right there, kind of mistake. We want to thank R.J. Pope, R.J. Pope, Men's and Ladies Apparel, downtown in Buckhead Plaza, celebrating 45 years in business. Guaranteed fit, services for free and always free alterations. Because of you, you're able to support a B.A. Gator Athletics. Now, fall apparels every day, new Georgia Southern and Georgia Apparel. So visit our spring and summer closeout sale at 50% off. Please visit the college bench on Ladies Store. Anderson's General Store, Yeti, Coolers, Big Green Egg, Costa Sunglasses, so much more on Highway 80. Come see Mike Anderson's there at Anderson's General Store. I want to thank Barbaritos for providing the pregame meal tonight for the Gators. Gator Nation, please stop by Barbaritos to show your appreciation of the sport for our school and student athletes. Of course, Olive Math Orthopedics being our services of our athletic trainer. They do so much for us. Left-footed kicker here for Edmund Burke, point after attempt. Ball snap, good snap, good hold, good kick right down the middle. No good. I should wait until the officials declare it good or bad because I thought it was right down the middle. Well, that's a uh, that's a that's a big miss right there, David. Nine minutes and forty seconds. In the third quarter, seven to nothing, seven to six, Bullock Academy leading here. Wow. They took the opening kickoff and came down. Scored six on a fifty-six yard tall sweep. Again, the story of the game, David. A couple of penalties on Bullock Academy there. Gave him gave him uh, two first downs and uh then that last uh, last little touchdown run again. Just we got sort of stuck on the inside. Nice play, ran 56 yards. Uh, offense has got to come out and establish itself right now. We need a long, sustained drive and and start pushing them around. Some like they've been pushing us around on the offensive line, and see if we can't uh, you know control the clock as well as get some points. Blake Harrison back to kick for Edmund Burke and Ty Mingle back deep in the middle. Childers on the left, Rodney Hill on the right. Onside kick, Dave. Did we get it? We were on it. I, I couldn't see when the pile got there. It looks like we did fall down on it. So that Lions McKinney recovered that for us. Yep. 50, excuse me. 
Riley Joyce. Good hands, Riley. Yeah, they were right on top of him there. That uh, pretty gutsy call there, Coach. That, um, wow. you know, you got 9, 9.40 to go in the third quarter, and you uh, guess they're trying to take advantage of the the momentum they gained. Ball's going to be on the 47-yard line. Fisher Oglesby at quarterback. Got twins right. See, see if you can make this one hurt. Fisher under center. Quarterback keeper uh, to the right hand, there. left hand side, nothing. Just shut him down right there. You know what I'm surprised here, John, is you know last week, last week we had such a push off the offensive line against Pinewood's defensive line. We're not having a lot of push here tonight. Yeah, we're not having a lot of push. I think uh, Edmund Burke probably a little bit, little bit more physical on the front end. You know, the coach said earlier they got a great work, uh, weight program. It's, uh, it's showing itself right now. They're playing pretty aggressive. Uh, you know, they're, they're nothing fancy. They're just firing off and whipping us. Twins right. Thomas Childs out to your right. Fisher Oglesby on the line. Option to his right. Keeper, and he goes across the line. And he gets no Ooh, he gets hit. He gets hit big time right there yeah, across nice, the green. Nice, nice little hit. Gain, gain a, you know, gain, gain a two or three yards there, and you got uh, now third and seven. Here comes Don Aaron in the game. Wholesale changes for Bullock Academy. Nate Rice coming out. Thomas Childs coming out. We come up to the line. Twins right. Got Ford and Childers on the right-hand side. Don Aaron running out to his right, looking for the throw, and skips it up to. Yep. Well, well defended well there. Well defended there. Well defended. Fourth down and about six. Yeah, ball's on 50. I think you got to start trying to pin them deep here. Yeah, you got to pin them deep. I'll bring up Nate Rice to punt. So we need a good snap here and a good kick by Nate. Number two, back deep, Mason Boswell. Fourth down, and we are punting on our 49-yard line. Good snap. Big kick by Nate all the way back to the, about the 11-yard line where he picks it up, and we finally wrap him up there about the 19-yard line. Pretty, pretty good return. That kid's pretty quick back there. He... Uh, I was thinking he should have let that ball go. Would have gone as a touchback. That guy at the 20, but he sort of made it on his own and got it back to the 19. And first down for Edmund Burke. So we need to stop him right here, John. <clears throat> a good four and out or three and out with a punt. That's what I'm hoping for. But their offensive line is coming off very hard against our defensive line and creating holes. Yeah, I, th I think, frankly, on both sides of the ball, they're, uh, they're playing a little bit more physical brand of football right now. We need to try to match them. They come up to the line, motion this way, handoff to number 30. We string him out right there. Yeah, good, uh, good, good play. Defensive end got up the field, turned them sort of back to the inside, and um, loss of two yards. So I'll bring up second down and 12. Bullock Academy 7, Evan Burke 6, 7 minutes and 40 seconds left here in the third quarter. Second down and 12. We want to thank everybody that's listening out to us on YouTube. Got people listening in uh, from North Georgia. Got people from Florida that's listening to us tonight. You can, uh, you can live chat us. Just go to the chat and type in what you think. We may or may not read it back. <laughs> Second down and 12. A little handoff to. There you go. Man, nice. it just wrapped him up right there. Yeah, nice nice play there by uh, Lance McKinney. Re really really filled the hole, sort of sort of met him man on man right there in the hole. Pretty much a, uh, you know, a play, maybe again a half a yard. We got third and 11. Defense has got to stand up here and got to make a uh, make a stop. We need a big play here out of the defense. Ball on the 19-yard line, six minutes and 45 seconds in the third quarter. Bullock Academy lead seven to six. I think we sort of figured out that um, you know that little cross buck play. Yeah. They've had some success on that, and uh, McKinney really filled that nicely this time. And a lot of times on the defensive line, you fire through, and then if nobody's hit you, the best thing to do is to stay still. Don't yeah. keep running upfield because 
when you do, it's coming right, back this right way. Past you. Quarterback back to pass, looking back to throw. Throws Throw one deep. way up, and it is caught by number 14 on the 45-yard line. Number 24, excuse me, to Trip Parker. Yeah, just sort of got behind Ford over there and uh, threw it up, and big tall kid went up, ca caught that ball. Big, big play for them. Ball's on Bullock Academy's 45-yard line. will be first down and 10. Mm, that mm, long mm. throw right there. First down and 10 for Edmund Burke. He threw it about as far as he could throw it right there for a 36-yard gain. They come up to the line. Twins left. Motion coming back this way. Hand off the quarterback keeper. And we wrap him up right there and push him back. Yeah, a lot of uh, Chris Howell on the tackle. Be second down and about five on that. Yeah, they really pushed him back. They gave him a pretty good spot there, a little forward progress spot there. You got uh, now second and six. Ball is on the 41 yard line. Five minutes and 23 seconds in the third quarter. Bullet Academy leading seven to six. Twins left, walking up to the line for Edmund Burke. I don't know if they got set in time. Handoff number 10. Mm. He gets a he gets the first down and a couple more. Yeah, just sort of ran through some arm tackles there. We tried to tackle that big guy high. You can't tackle that guy high. You no, got to go, go down low on him. And we had Lyles McKinney just sort of, you know, holding on to him and went waiting for a ride. Some, waiting yeah. on somebody to help out. Yep, yep, yep. Big, big hole, big kid. Chandler Dick checks in as well as J.D. Collins trying to bring some – some size in there on the defensive line. They walk up to the line. That triple option set. Motion coming back this way. Hand off to that running back again. And not much of anything. Yeah, I think Chandler Dick sort of stopped that there. You had uh, said Chandler Dick and then had uh, J.D. Collins in there sort of snuff that play pretty quick. I want to give a shout-out to Brad David. He's listening down in Homosa, Florida. Amy Davids, Jr., she's a BA cheerleader. Dad listening down here. Good to hear from you, Brad. Second down and about eight, 418 left in the third quarter. Bull Academy leading 7-6. to six. They're coming up to the line again. Boy, it feels like a big play here for some reason, Dave. Motion going back the opposite way. Toss sweep to that number 30. And we lose containment, and he gets the – Gosh, Will Aaron missed the tackle, and he gets the first down. Had him for about a two-yard gain there, and, um, boy, just – Just a toss sweep is all it is. Yeah, they're wearing out that right side or left side of the defense. Nate Rice checks in. Number 30, Miller Pope comes out. First down and 10, balls on the 29-yard line. Excuse me, 24-yard line for Edmund Burke. They hustle up to the line. They got a little pep in their step. Twins to your left. Motion coming this way. Option, and we wrap him up for about a loss. Yeah, good good play there by Jake Nelson. Jake yeah. Nelson fought off the block, got up the field, slowed that thing down. Containment came from the inside, <clears throat> stopped him for a uh, two-yard loss. Second down and 12 for Edmund Burke. Three minutes. That gun, the third quarter's ticking away here, John. Really is. Not a lot of stoppage of play when you're, uh, when you're running the football. Very similar to Georgia Southern offense, you know, ball control, Army offense, Navy offense. Yep, Gr grind it out on the, um, grind it out on the ground and um, and play good defense. Cross block to number buck. ten. And we big hit. The ball's out. Ball's out. And did we come up with a ball? And they're fight. They're fighting under the pile right now for sure. We got, we got the ball, and on a turnover right there, a big stick by, did, by the linebacker. 
coughed up the ball, and we got yeah, the ball. Brent, Brent, Brandon, Flair, Brandon Faircloth came in there and, and really racked him there at the end. Ball's on the 20-yard yeah. line for Bullock Academy, and we got our first turnover. Yeah, went, uh, went down low on the big boy, and he didn't like it and coughed up the football. Uh, a couple more chats here. Uh, Ruby, uh, that would be my mother, listening up in North Hall. Give a hey, shout Ms. out, Ruby. To, give a shout out to Miss Ruby. Bullock Academy coming up to the line on the twenty-yard line. Option coming to your opposite side. Pitch to Ty Mingle. Flag on the play. Yeah. 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 Flag on the play. Two minutes and sixteen seconds here. Let's hope it's against them, but I don't think it's going to be. Yeah, where that is, looks like it was on uh, Chandler Dick, sort of back behind the play, holding on to him. Brad Davis says he's on a fishing trip down in Hamosa, Florida. Ruby says that North Hall, and Cliff would like this, North Hall is beating Jackson County 14 to nothing right now. That'd be my old high school. Cliff was up there for a little bit of time in Gainesville. Knows that place, knows that area. Love to hear when North Hall's winning. Holding on the Gators. That'll back them up. I tell you what, that holding oh gets you every single time. Yeah, they just sort of sort of put you put you behind the down and distance game here. This is gonna be Would anybody like any Skittles? Um our booster president just keeps bringing us skills and brown M&Ms. We hustle up to the line, first down and 20. Trips to this side, I mean, twins to this side. Don back to pass, wide open to four walls, and he makes the catch, oh, he does. All the way down to the 45-yard line. Nice catch by Ford. Great catch there, Dave. Had him had him in the seam, went down, and really had to sort of go up in the air and get that ball. Very difficult ball to catch. He brings that down. Really, the team really needed him right there. He brings it in, and the uh, and the sophomore makes a tremendous play for the for the Gators. And if you look to the right here, the got a proud dad on the public announcer. That's right. Love to see that. First down and ten for Bullock Academy on the 44-yard line of Bullock Academy. I, I think you sort of keep. You'll see that a couple more times. Loosen them up. Handoff option to Rodney Hill. Kind of a late tackle there at the end. Yeah, late tackle. Kind of rode him out. Yeah, I'd like to see Rodney sort of stick his uh, stick his head down a little bit on that play. Really run sort of upright and could have punished the kid a little bit, but uh, yeah, pick up of two yards there and. Second and eight. Clock stops with one minute and 44 seconds here in the third quarter. Bullock Academy leading seven to six. Wholesale changes coming in and out. Jake Nelson coming in for Rodney Hill. Let's see if we hand off to Jake right here and see what he can do. Twins left. Ty Mingle and Jake Nelson in the backfield. And we call a timeout right here, John. Yeah, yeah. Didn't like the uh, didn't like the personnel he had in there. Good timeout. Hey, right now you need to you need to play smart football. It's second and eight. You need a pretty good play here. So, good timeout by the coach. You got uh, two more left for the uh, game. So, um, congratulations. Uh, of course, uh, win last week over Pinewood, and we got our JV, middle school, and elementary schools football starting next week. Middle school will play Trinity at Dublin at home at 6 p.m. Also on Tuesday, the elementary Gators will travel to Dublin, play Trinity at 6. And on Thursday, the JV will play Pinewood at home at 5.30. So please come out and support uh, the JV and elementary school and the cheerleaders. Softball, softball team's off to a strong start this season, John. Next week, our girls will be in action against Jeff Davis. Uh, high school on Wednesday and Pinewood on Thursday. Please come out and support the girls and Coach Chambers. Expecting an exciting season. We come up to the line, hustle up to the line after the timeout. Second down and about eight, John, is that right? Yes, it is. Twins left. Don goes back to pass, 
straight to his brother and gets the first down and then some. What a throw. Yeah. Great, Will, great, great. Will Aaron yeah. had the catch, but he's uh, – I hope he's cramping up right like now. A, that looks like a cramp right there. Yeah. Yeah, he's fine. Hey, great, great little, uh, you know, seven-yard turn in, hitch route, and uh, Don really put it right on the money. Uh, had tight coverage on him, but uh, good pitch and catch. That's the third or fourth one tonight for those two guys. One minute and 34 seconds. Bull Academy leading seven to six. Balls on Edmund Burke's 44-yard line. We hustle up to line. Twins right. Don comes up, hands it off. No, he tucks it. He keeps it. Nice little gain there, about uh, seven yards there on first down. So, got a helmet that came off. J.D. Collins and Riley Joyce was battling number 35, Jordan Walden, and Jordan's helmet came off, and they were, he's going to have to go out, John. Yeah, Jordan Jordan lost that one. <laughs> Those two boys put a pounding on him. Second down and about three balls on the 36-yard line. When you knock your chin strap off, you know you've been hit. 49 seconds left. We hustle up here, see if we can get a – we will be able to get a playoff for the end of the quarter. 38 seconds. Hand off to Ty Mingle. Straight up the middle, and he gets, gets first down. Great, great uh, – Great, uh, great hole up the middle. Good little run there for Ty. Yeah, great little run. End of the uh, that should be the end of the third quarter. Got 30 seconds left. Maybe able to get one. Well, we'll see. I tell you what, old Abby Newton. She is the ball girl, and she, her and Madeline Cowart. 15 seconds here. First down. Get one more play here off on the third quarter. Ty right up the middle. Got some running room. Yeah, he gets the another, first first down. Another, another 10 yard run right there. 3.1 seconds left to go. Finally getting a little bit of push up the middle. Looks like we got a little angry. And um, into the uh, into the third quarter, scores Bullock Academy seven, Edmund Burke six. Ball is going to be on the 23 yard line, going in for hopefully a score. So we're going to take a one minute break here. You listen to Bullock Academy. YouTube network here at Gator Alley. We're going to take a one-minute break. One-minute break. Welcome back to Bullock Academy football. We got 12 fresh minutes on the clock in the fourth quarter. Seven to six, Bullock Academy leading. It's 9:06 here in Statesboro. An hour and hour, a half game. Yeah, hour and 36 so far. Three quarters and a halftime show. We got first down and 10. Ball is on the 20-yard line. Don Aaron is under center. We got twins to your right. Back to pass, looking to wide throw, open. wide open to Jake Nelson. Touchdown, Jake Nelson with a 20-yard touchdown throw. Don Aaron to Jake Nelson, and your score is 13. Bullock Academy. That's great. Emmett Burke, six. Great play. Yeah, great play there. You, also, you had Nate Rice uh, down there in the seam, and uh, and then outside you had Jake Nelson. You really had a choice to who everyone wanted to throw it to. Took the outside man, which is the appropriate guy to throw it to. Touchdown for 20 yards. Good Olin play. Anderson back to kick for an extra point. We need a good snap. We need a good hold, and we need a good kick from Mr. Olin Anderson. And the kick is up, and I'm going to wait. And it is good. 
Your score with 11 minutes and 53 seconds left, 14 Bullock Academy, Edmund Burke 6. How about that, John? Good answer right there. Listen, that was a good drive. We uh, we started to uh, get a little dominance on the inside finally. Had some push in the middle. Had uh, several yards of five, six, seven yards apiece. Had a couple great throws. Great catch there um, on that uh, on that drive that really sort of got it going with uh, Ford Wilds. And, um, you know, in traffic, made the catch, difficult catch. Sort of gave us a little bit of momentum, and we pushed it in, got it in the end zone. I'm, I'm going to say that Evan Burke, it might be tiring out just a little bit. you got six people playing both ways. I'm hoping that. I mean, our depth, if you look at the sidelines here, you know, we've got 50-something players. They've got 30, 31, I think we counted. Yeah. Um, so hopefully that depth is going to start. We'll see. I think, I think you know, now they need, um, you know, they need a, a, a score and a two-point conversion. Um, you're um, – I think you're going to see them put the ball in the air a little bit. Creekhouse back to kick. German exchange student. Don't know what part of Germany he's from, but he's from Germany. We know that much. Ball's on the 40-yard line. He winds up here. We need a good kick from Creekhouse. And it is. Big high kick all the way down to about the five-yard line. Or he, number 14, and he runs over one of our players and gets up to about the 29-yard line, John. Yeah, pretty good little block in there with left-hand side. It's all right. Uh, stop him and um, stop him about the 29-yard line. Let's see what we can do on defense. Looks like Brad Davis is catching a lot of fish. He says they're wearing them out. Well, that's always good. Brad, bring some home for us. <laughs> we like him filleted. Yes. and uh, Preferably cooked. Cooked. <laughs> yes. Go ahead and uh, have them bagged up for us, Brad. First down and 10 for Edmund Burke. Yeah, about 25, not quite the 29 there, Dave. 25-yard line, and let's see if they don't come out and try to throw the ball a little bit. Bullet Academy leading 14-6 to six here in the fourth quarter, 11 minutes and 47 seconds to go. So if you're Edmund Burke, John, what do you do? They've had some success throwing the ball on us. They've uh, got that big, big number 14. He's out there on the left-hand side right now. Far left, let's see if they throw it. They'll, uh, they'll mix it in pretty good, I think. Motion cross buck again. They've had some success with that big number 10, and we wrap him up and push him back. Yeah, yeah. He might have got two on that. Yeah, Will Aaron came in and helped uh, fill, that, uh, fill that gap and put him on the ground. Lines McKinney hanging by the shirt tail, our spotter AC says. <laughs> If, if you notice in, in the second half, we've uh, good adjustments obviously at yeah. halftime because we've we've been playing that uh, cross buck a little bit better. I think our guys were just kind of getting upfield too much. A little aggressive. A little aggressive. Got to play almost a base defense on something like that. Hand off to option quarterback keeper. We mm -hmm. wrap him up right there, but he's close to a first down. Yeah, I think he got it. That uh, he got that one sort of on his own. He. He got four yards on his own at the end of the play, first down. First down and 10 for Edmund Burke. Ball's on the 36-yard line. And they're going from your left to your right. Jake Nelson checks out. Can't see who went in for Jake. Give a shout-out to Jake there for coming off the field. <laughs> they come up to the line, 10 minutes and 34 seconds left in the ball game. Guys, man-to-man over here on the uh, – on the left-hand side. Looks like official timeout here. Looks maybe uh, equipment here. Somebody's trying to figure out. we got a helmet off right now. That'd be yeah. Brandon Faircloth. Looks like a chin strap issue. 55 checks in for Bullock Academy. J.D. Collins. First down and 10 for Evan Burke. I have nobody over here on the end, John, mm -hmm. on the corner. Hand off Fair Cl uh, Call your Smith again, sorry. King, 59 on the tackle. Yeah, Josh, Josh Davis. Davis. Oh, gain, you know, gain of two, second down and eight. Ball's on the 36-yard line, Edmund Burke. Lines McKinney checks out of the game. There again, thank you so much for listening to us on YouTube. Uh, got, got a lot of viewers, and, of course, you can chat with us as well. Or you can sit back and listen.
Motion coming back the opposite way. Bootleg coming yeah. back this way, looking to throw, but he pulls it down. Got some running room. We get the ball. Get the ball. Boy, Jake Nelson hey. almost had that ball. All the way down about the 45 yard line of Bullock Academy. Got the first down. Jake was tackling the ball on that. Looked yeah. like he was trying yeah. to take it away. Yeah, sure was. Number 14 brings in the play for Edmund Burke. They're setting that up. They've got uh, they've got us over here on an <clears> island <throat> with with, uh, with with Ford Wiles, and, and we need to that, that that setup. We need to make sure that they don't uh, watch that containment. Yeah. Hand off to 21. Oh, we wrap him up good. Play. Right there, number eight, Brandon Fairclaw. Out of way, Brandon. I just watched Nate Rice on that play right there, John. He was this side in, and he was firing down. And if they would have bootlegged out, yeah, yeah. Gotta, he would have ran all day. Got to keep containment. Second down and about nine. Starting to get a little chippy out there right now, David. You got uh, got to keep your head about you. No uh, unforced penalties here. Ball's on the 44-yard line of Bullock Academy. They've crossed the 50-yard line. Midfield, second down and nine. We need to pay attention to this, this end here. Plays a well, handoff straight up to the middle again to the running back. He's wide open. Wide open to the 15, to the 10, to the five. Touchdown. Just like that, folks, on a 44-yard run, Collier Smith scores. With eight minutes and 16 seconds, your score, Bullock Academy 14, Edmund Burke 12. John, do you go for two right here? I think you have to, Coach. <clears throat> I think you're. Uh, I think they're going to go for it. They've had some success up the middle there. That's just nothing fancy. That's just beat your, beat your uh, defender and, uh, and run straight up the gut. That little speed on him, too. Hand the ball off straight up the middle, and he took off. And just like Coach Collins was saying, this, this number 10 is a good player. Hard nose and uh, showed it right there. Had some speed, too. Yep. And they're going to go for two, Coach. Twins left. Motion coming back this side. Quarterback rolling out, and there's flags all over the field. Yeah, that's league procedure on those guys. So that will back them up right there. Change of play, that's for sure. I don't know if he still goes for two, but if he does, it certainly changes his play. Two-point conversion attempt was uh, had a penalty on it. Let's see what uh, Edmund Burke decides to do. I don't know if I'd go ahead and kick it right here. Ball's on the nine-yard line. Yeah, Ooh. you got you got eight minutes and 16 seconds left if uh, if you don't make it. And they're going for it. And kick, yeah, they got a good kicker, but they're going for it, coach. Roll back this way. Quarterback looking to throw. Throws it up no. to Collier Smith. And he, yeah, we tackle him on the, by the five-yard line. It was just a desperation kind of throw. And Collier caught the ball. I thought we might knock it down, but he caught it. And uh, two-point conversion, no good. Yeah, really, really good penetration there by uh, Lance McKinney. Uh, got, got in the backfield, hurried that throw, threw it up in desperation. Like you said, he caught the ball, and we, we put him down. So, Eight, uh, eight minutes and 15 seconds left to go in the game, and Bullock Academy is leading 14 to 12. Whew. So we're going to get the kickoff. Well, last time was a onside, onside kick. kick, so we can't can't. Uh, we need to have good hand. <coughs> excuse me, good hands <coughs> up in the front. Too many of those blue skittles there, David. <laughs> excuse me. Will Will, uh, Will, Will Renz, uh put too many skittles down you down your gullet here and. Uh, and you keep coughing, but I'm good. Thank you. Yeah, we got uh, you know get get this kick off. Pretty uh, pretty important drive. It's always nice to be you know, choked up while you're trying to talk there on the uh, YouTube radio Blue network. Skittles. Blue Skittles will do that to you. I hear other things will do that to you as well, John. Brown M and M's. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> don't forget, you can live chat us here if you're on your computer. Uh, go to the YouTube and right to your right there's a little chat button you can type in whatever you're thinking we may or may not read it back 
Most likely we probably will. All depends on the content. Four. We, we do have some friends out there. We do have some filter, too. Ball is placed on the 40-yard line. Edmund Burke's going to be kicking from your left to your right. Ty Mingle back deep, along with Rodney Hill and Matt Childers. Let's see what Edmund Burke decides to do. I would kick it deep, and they are. And it's going to land right in the middle. Ty picks it up, looking for some run room. Bounces out to the left. Can he get outside, John? And he gets wrapped up right there on the 26-yard line. Yeah, really short kick there. Sort of uh, landed in no man's land. And really, you really want to see him sort of move up on that ball, catch it on the fly, and uh, go straight up the field. But, hey, we uh, we make it work. We got the ball on the 20. The 26, 27-yard line, got to have a drive here. Got eight minutes and nine seconds left to go in the ball game. You need a good, sustained drive. We hustle up to the line. Twins right, Hill, Mingle in the backfield, Don Aaron at quarterback. Hand off to Ty Mingle, straight up the middle. He's up to the 35-yard line. Good run by Ty. Yeah, good, solid run right there. Good push up the middle. You see Chandler Dix right there at the pile. Chandler seven yards down the, uh, down the line of scrimmage. Just pushing his man and beating him. We need about 10 more of those right there. Yes, sir. Seven minutes and 50 seconds left in the ball game. Bull Academy leading 14 to 12 here at Gator Alley. Seven yards in a cloud of dust works every play from here on out. Second down and two. Don Aaron with the play. We hustle up to the line. Twins right. Same formation for Bullock Academy. Option to your left, keeper. First down. He got the first down. Yep, yep. Probably about the 40-yard line. Yeah, 40, 40 and a half possibly, but uh, enough of the first down, nothing special there. Just sort of fake the handoff, kept it around the end. Had had the pitch man, but the pitch man was covered, so he smart play, didn't want to force anything. Took it upfield, got the first down, first and 10. Option to the left, and uh, – John Don decided not to pitch. That's always a tough play going to your left with a right-handed quarterback. Absolutely. Twins right. Hand off the time angle. He's got yes, to sir. the 50. 45, 40, 35. It's a foot race, folks. 20, 15, broke a tackle. All the way down. Touchdown, time angle. How about that? That's a 59-yarder. With a 59-yard touchdown run by Ty Mingle with six minutes and 53 seconds, your score, folks. Bullock Academy 20. Hey, Dave, right there. Andy Burke 12. He ran, he ran through some arm tackles, and then a uh, guy had him, tried to horse call him right there at the end, just too strong, just too fast, sort of threw him off, got all the way down. Nice little 59-yard run. Good job, Ty. Olin Ant. Olin Anderson. Olin Anderson. I about said Ole Anderson. <laughs> he's, o, a, he's an old wrestler. <laughs> Olin Anderson back to kick. We need a good snap, good hold, and a good kick by Olin. Good snap, good hold, and the kick is up. And it's good. Six minutes and 53 seconds, and your score, 21. Bullock Academy, Evan Burke, 12. Good, good answer there, Dave. They go down, they score, they uh, – Bulk Academy gets the, gets the football about the 29-30 uh, yard line. A couple of good first downs and a huge run there by Tom Engel. I tell you what. So Creekhouse will be back on his own 40-yard line. He'll be kicking off to your right, to your left. And we got a little bit of pep in our step right here, John. Yeah, I think you're correct. I think we've sort of worn them down a little bit on the on the line. They uh, they played us really difficult, really tough on the first uh, first two quarters, and even into the you know beginning of the third quarter. But uh, I think Bull Academy's starting to have their way with them up front. So a little scores from uh, the north part of Georgia. Ruby has texted us again. North Hall 21, Jackson County nothing. See if we can get some other scores here, maybe some updates. And Creek House, German exchange student. Ball's on the 40-yard line. Let's kick it deep here, Jonas. They're standing on their own 10-yard line. They've been backing up each and every time. I would look at that kick again. Yeah. He catches it on about the 4-yard line. Coming up the field. 
Boom. We wrap him up Boom. right there. Ball came out. And a big hit on somebody. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of pushing there after the play. That was a uh, that was a nice little snot bubble there by number 42. <laughs> that's uh, Malone Caseman just that, – that, that's a slobber knocker. That was a slob <laughs> slobber knocker. Style, but he popped him. So we've got some uh, – our coaches are out on the field here. And well, their coaches are out. You had yeah. Malone pushing and shoving there at the end of the play. And I uh, guess they didn't like getting hit. It's football. Get up. So our, our team's on the sidelines right now. Their team's on their sideline. Coach Collins is out there in the middle of the field. Telling the defense, get on the field. Buckle up and let's go. Yeah, coach is, uh, coach is upset. Coach is telling them, said, uh, don't, uh, you know, don't do anything stupid. Play aggressive, but not, you know, be smart about it. Yeah. It started getting chippy at the end of the third quarter. First down and 10 for Edmund Burke. Ball's on the 26-yard line. Spartans come up. They in the huddle. They, they, everybody's kind of walking to the to the huddle right now. Yeah, they just sort of walking up, uh, walking to the huddle. Not not much of a hurry. They taking the time and quick, and the coach calls timeout for Edmund Burke. Coach, have to take time out. The players were on the sideline walking up to the huddle and not uh, not being very, uh, you know, very quick about anything and had to waste a time out. So uh, going to Waynesboro, uh, our good friend Dewey Newton and uh, Hoke Reeves, they have both said that uh, both of their jerseys have been retired at Edmund Burke. Did you know that? And every time we go over to Edmund Burke, I don't see the Newton Reeves jersey anywhere but they say that it's been retired listen those two guys are just great athletes let me tell you do 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 daddy and hope and the hope was a basketball player yes sir now hope he could he could yeah. ab absolutely could uh he could fill up the hoop and uh dewey i used to play in uh intramural um intramural sports against dewey he was in that other fraternity i was in that other fraternity we used to play against we used to cover each other in ultimate frisbee and uh Dewey, uh, Dewey's a good athlete as well. But I never did see the jerseys being retired. Well, listen, they're our friends. We're going to trust them. <laughs> <laughs> and some scores from around the 7-3 uh, Statesboro winning. There you go. Ball's handed Ball off. the middle. I, quarterback going off to the – I thought the running – well, we'll get back in the ball game here. Um, yeah, fake, faked us out a little bit there. We thought he handed it up the middle, and uh, he took it around the end and got about four yards there on the first down play, second down and six. Ball's placed on the 30-yard line. Six minutes, 22 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Bull Academy leading 21 to 12. Yeah, still still a little chippy out there. Number uh, number 34 for Evan Burke didn't, didn't like that. Then uh, a little extracurricular. and They come up to officials, the line. Officials need to pay attention to this. Motion coming back this way. Hand straight off the middle, and we wrap him up right there. Yeah. I had a double team on, looks like, number 42, Malone Kaysen. Malone went back a few yards there. Yeah, yeah, they, they, they sort of pinned their ears back there. They, they squared him up pretty good right there. But, hey, he's, he's a tough boy. He jumped up and ran off the field. That's a learning experience right there. Get yeah, down. Yeah. Third down and about four twins to your right. Hand off to that running back again. Oh, golly. We had we popped him in the backfield and just couldn't quite bring him down. Goodness gracious. Spun off. We got somebody for Evan Burke, looks like. Number 35. Yeah, 54 lines. McKitty had him, popped him. But, hey, again, good, good, you know, strong runner, thick legs, and uh, he spun off, got the first down. 5-10 left to go in the game, and uh, it's first and 10 for their own 43-yard line. That looks like the 37-yard line. For the man with no glasses, I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> well, the scoreboard does say 38. 43. Twins to your right. Motion going back the opposite way. Rode it straight up to that number 10. There is some chippiness going on right now, folks. Brock Sapp just got hit in the back. Yeah. 
But the gain, tackle. Gain of uh gain of eight there. So second and two, four thirty. Dave, they've been running this ball and they're running out of time. They gotta get two scores. I'd I'd watch out for the pass here. Second down and short. Good opportunity to maybe throw the ball. If you miss it, you can always come back and try to get the first down of the run. So I'd be I'd be going pass all the way here from the defense. We brought in some heavy people. Chandler Dick's in. Shotgun formation. Quarterback looking to throw. Pass. Straight up the middle. Interception. Will Aaron up to the 50. 45. 40. 35. And he gets wrapped out of bounds and hit out of bounds. Interception by Will Aaron. A flag on the play. <laughs> yeah, might, might, be a, might be a hold on us there, but... Yeah, we, that just set itself up for a pass there, Dave. It's second and short, had a little momentum. They've been running the ball well, and uh, Will comes over from his free safety position, gets up in the air, snags that ball out, about a 35-yard run back. Although we have a penalty here, maybe push us back a little bit. That should wrap up the ball game right there if we just run the ball out. So we'll wait on the flag on the field here. It looks like it's going to be against us after the interception. Yeah, block in the back. Holding. Against us, so that'll back us up. That's okay. We got the ball. That's all that matters right now. Yep, yep. Ball will be placed on Edmund Burke's 45-yard line with three minutes and 58 seconds. Bull Academy leading 21 to 12. Well, you know, big, big, uh, you know, big miscue on their offense when they came out, Dave. They they burned a timeout coming, you know, on a change of possession. Yep. Because they were just lazy coming off the sideline, and uh, now they're down to one turn, one uh, one timeout with 3:58 left to go in the game. Don Aaron at quarterback, twins right, hand off to Ty Mingle right up the middle. He's running. Yeah. He's opening up. He is opening up right now. Yeah. I'm running back. You got, uh, you know, you, you nailed it uh, a little bit earlier, David. We're uh, we're starting to wear them down a little bit. We're starting to uh, open up some big holes, and Ty's uh, taking advantage of it. Second down and eight. Looks like there was somebody down. 74 is coming out for Edmund Burke. Ball's on the Edmund Burke 36 yard line. Three minutes, 23 seconds, 21. Bullock Academy. Edmund Burke, 12. Ball snap. Hand off to Ty again. First down. That's the first down. I think we're going to see a heavy dose of Ty Mingle right here, John. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chan Chandler Dick is going to just sit there and tee off on his man, and they're going to get three or four yards every time he does it. Ball's on the 34-and-a-half-yard line. Spotter AC tells me. First down and 10. Jake Nelson checks in. Two minutes and 54 seconds. 21 to 12. Bullock Academy leading. Twins right. Take as much time as we can off the clock. Hand off to uh, court, option to Ty Mingle. All the way down to about the 22 yard line. More extracurricular activity here. Yeah, I mean, you really don't want to see that. Coach has got to, <laughs> coach has got to get on them for that. Edmund Burks just sort of letting the frustration be shown here. Uh, good to see Chandler Dick. Chandler Dick is 10 yards down the line hitting on his guy. The guy didn't like it. Learn to get down. <laughs> if you're going to be dumb, <laughs> you got to be tough. 221. Clock is rolling. First down and 10, ball on the 23-yard line. Don's just taking as much time as he possibly can. Ball snap. Keeper, Keeper off the right hand the side. Little gain of six yards right there. Nice play. Chandler Dick is wearing out number 33, Miles Burnett. I'm telling you. I mean, I'm, I'm watching the – I'm almost wanting to just watch the center. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, uh, you know. He's wearing him out, Coach. Six, 10, 12 yards down the field, just pushing him around. Minute 35 left here in the ball game. Second down and four, ball on the 18-yard line. Do you watch the play? I'm watching the center. All right. Hand off to Jake Nelson. 
Nice push up the middle. Yes, he did. Nate Rice is pushing his man all the way down the yeah, field, too. Yeah, nice uh, nice run. Close to the first down. If may, He may have gotten it. Let's see what the spot is. We need a left-footed spot for the first down. Third and about two inches. Looks like this strength program that Coach Collins has got this team on is paying off. Yeah, sure is. But they say, you know, the ball game's won in the fourth quarter. And that yeah. is true right yeah. here tonight. Yeah. You, you, you can tell. A lot of hands on hips over there, Edmund Burke, and our guys are hustling to the line. Got a little pep in their step still. 44 seconds left here in the ball game. Don's just trying to take as much time as he can. And uh, no, option to tie Mingo is about to the 10. Cuts back. Gets the first down and gets to about the third yard, th three yard line, third yard line. Clock still stop. running. Clock, there you go. Burned off about 24 seconds left here in the ball game. Balls on the good, good play there. Look at balls down on the one yard line. Well, it might be on the four yard line. It looks like coach is going to do the right thing. Just take it in, and that's the end of the ball game, folks. With your score, Bullock Academy 21, Edmund Burke. 12. I tell you what, John, it's it is 934. That's a two hour football game. I tell you what. Um, let's do the rundown of the scoring real quick, John. Yeah, yeah. Uh, started scoring with uh, 19.7 seconds left to go in the, in the half in this first half. <laughs> Don Aaron with a keeper around the left, a three yard run for uh, uh, kick was good, seven to nothing. Then in the third quarter, nine minutes, 40 seconds, Edmund Burke Academy, uh, Mason Boswell on a 56-yard run. The kick was no good, and the score was 6-7. to seven. In the, Early in the fourth quarter, 11-53, uh, Jake Nelson on a 20-yard pass play. Kick was good, 14-6. to six. And then uh, EBA answers in the fourth quarter, 8 minutes, 16 seconds, with a 44-yard uh, run up the middle. Collier Smith, the two-point conversion was no good. It was 14 to 12, Bulk Academy. And then with 6 minutes and 53 seconds left to go in the ballgame, 59-yard run from Ty Mingle in the scoring, 21 to 12. So at the end of the game when uh, <clears throat> they were shaking hands, it looked like number 36 for Edmund Burke. Uh, coaches encouraged him to go on down the other way. Yeah, he was the one that uh, Chandler Dick had um, had uh, sort of pounded in the ground here that entire fourth quarter. I think he, and wanted, he didn't. He didn't like much of it. I think he wanted to go back and say a little. Anyway, good job by the coaches separating them, yeah. and uh, they've gone on. So your final score here: Bullock Academy twenty-one, Edmund Burke twelve. Folks, thank you so much for being with us tonight. Next week, I got to open right here. We are Labor Day weekend, no game. And then we'll be back here on September the 7th against Memorial, 7.30. Hope to see you here. Please be safe going home. Thank you for joining us tonight. God bless you.